Oh, not that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to cough my throat. Ooh, let me put you over here. Okay. Hello. Hello, Daphne. It's good seeing you today. You didn't have to refresh this time. See, Twitch is improving. I didn't have to refresh either. And I was quite pleased about that because I can see myself for once. <laughs> Which is kind of nice. A little bit. Main mainly for today. Um, that's good. That's good. I think Twitch had an update recently, but I can't remember when that was. I know they update a lot. At least the app they do, but I don't know about desktop per se. Um, but hopefully you had a really good rest at least. And you've been reading your book and drinking water and getting things done and being productive. Hopefully so. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Wow. I just read what I just saw. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> I just saw something about Taylor Swift. and like, oh, in our own Discord. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's concerning. Not really. Oh, well. It got deleted. Um... Mm. Do, 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 do. How do I spell this word? I can't remember. Oh, I know, I know. I know how to spell this word now. Um. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, there we go. There we go. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that's fine. I guess. I assume so. But you know, it's normal, normal. I don't even go on Twitter anymore. I barely am on there unless I'm like tweeting something about like my own video or occasional Twitch streams that I do. And then just random video games that I like a lot. But you know, it's so, it's so different. Twitter is so different now. I don't have the app anymore. I haven't had the app on my phone in like two, two, three years, I feel. Um, I'm considering of deleting another social media app. I'm thinking of deleting TikTok. However, um, I'm, I'm going to keep TikTok on my phone just because there are certain things on the phone that you, that you can't do on desktop. So that's the only reason why I keep TikTok on my phone for that reason. But then I also want to delete, I don't know. I feel like I have my key essential social medias now on my phone that I don't like have to have or I need to have, but not on all the time. Um, also, Jet, welcome in. It's good seeing you today. Howdy, howdy. Hope all is well. We are playing a new game today. Well, probably new for you, but old for me. Um, we're playing a game called Wildflowers today, which I'm very excited about because... We have some major updates in this game that I've been meaning to share with you all because I played a little bit off stream these past couple of days to um move along with the process. But now we've got some good things happening. But hopefully I had a really good rest though, uh, Jet Shark at least. We're just getting started with the stream because I was just trying to figure out um something that I need to to set up before I started my stream, but I can't remember what it was. I can't remember. Sometimes I just can't remember half of the things I need to do before stream. And then when I start stream midway through, I get confused. I'm like, what do I need? Maybe I don't need anything. Oh, wait, no. I have to respond to an email, but I'll just do that after stream. It's no big deal. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, you sold your your Switch a while ago for your for your PS5, which you use every day. But now I want to save it for a Switch again, moving back and forth. No, understandable. I feel like I I want to sell my Switch, but I'm like, I need to have it. 
I like playing Animal Crossing every once in a blue moon, but you know, honestly, I only use my Switch for um just dance and a lot of other like cozy indie games like Stardew Valley and Jenny LeClue. But I don't really play Animal Crossing anymore. But I need to at some point, but like gotta have the urge. <laughs> um but good morning though overall. Happy that you're here. Oh. Why can I not hear anything? Hello? Oh, because the game audio is low. That's why. Okay. Um, am I sis? Make sure I have this program not open. Okay, good. Now we can get started today. I feel quite pleased. Okay, there we go. I knew I had sound at some point. I knew I wasn't too crazy. Um, but also good morning though as well, and I'm glad it's been a good morning so far. I really, I honestly did not do much this morning. I basically sat in the bed until like eight. No, I stayed in my bed until like nine, uh, like nine fifteen, because it was so cozy and I didn't want to move, so I just stayed in the bed, feeling really nice and good, and then I got up. And then ate a little breakfast, and now I'm here. <laughs> also, Crab, enjoy your lurk. Oh, okay. So, I've done a few updates to this game already. As you can see, I have way more money now than ever before, which is nice. Because I was broker than broke in this game in the very beginning of the stream from last week. But I remember what we had to do is we needed five dragon blood vials, which we have the this taps for and we put them on the trees last week and there was something else I was going to do I still don't know all the recipes I really want to try and get like a hundred percent one day but I I don't know half of them yet I could go to the forest because right now it's only like four and I should change the time to relaxed but I've been trying to like get a hundred percent because this game is so good and i haven't i've been playing it since technically september of 2022 so almost two years oh you do that all the time you wake up and sit in denial that i woke up no same literally same because i'm like why did i wake up i wanted to sleep more but then it's like you know what i should move so that way i can like get some sunlight eat food drink water Maybe watch a little bit TV, and then I I will feel okay. Ah, you never realize how much you care about something until it mysteriously <clears throat> breaks down. Oh? I love you, Fairhaven Fairy. Oh? I need you. Please come back to me. Huh? Uh, but what about not... Angus? There's room in our relationship for the fairy. Don't worry. <laughs> what? This sounds funny. This town's silly. It's like, there's room for two of us in this relationship. I can love the fairy and Angus at the same time. It's okay. Mayor Otto wants dirt. Mm, you know, you are providing money, so I guess that's fine. Whatever. Um, But, um, I've been trying to, like, also, like, do a few things. No, no, no don't leave me. Don't leave me. There we go. Um... But I've been trying to, like, get up early enough. I'm not a morning person. And I I don't really consider myself a night owl, really. Like, I like staying up until, like, 3 a.m. But I know I can't do that because it'll hurt in the morning. So I try to go to bed at least at 11 p.m. Wake up at 7.30. Doesn't happen. So I get up at, like, 8.30. But I set my alarm so that way I can like wake up and now I'm not trying to train my body like wake up at this time and you will be good. <laughs> Hopefully. <sighs> I can't help but wonder <clears throat> if someone did tamper with the fairy. Maybe. If can fix it though, it's Parker. And I'll be happy to take a torch to anything that needs welding. Okay, well that's good to know. I'm trying to make sure I, I interact with almost all the people. However, half of the time they're always in their house. Oh! The update I have to share with you all. So I got a few more robots. I got a 
a mining robot so that goes into the mines and gets all the rocks and things for me automatically which is great so i don't have to and then i also got um a fishing bot as well but i need more bait to get which is nice and then the other bot that i have that we already had before is the the gardening one that waters the crops and i want to get another one that i think is for something else but i can't remember what it is oh it's the one for feeding the chickens the animals um oh you said until 2 a.m with ease i just don't wake up until noon mm. that was that was me during college when when i was not studying abroad when i was doing school online i wouldn't wake up until like noon because my class didn't start until like one o'clock so I, I was fine but i will say though ooh, i do miss sleeping in until noon but then like don't you feel like your whole day is wasted though that's just me though i'm like i want to sleep in but i can't because i need to get work done uh oh no here we go my blackberry seeds um also attorney welcome in it's good seeing you today and neon hello hello friendo happy to see you both you love our cozy mornings so do i i too also love our cozy mornings because that way we can relax after a chaotic week or weekend i feel like whenever we play sims it's chaotic <laughs> in a lot of different ways one in my game and then just overall other things but I, I like when we play <laughs> I like when we play non sim games sometimes helps my brain to like not think as much oh if you need me I'll be down here oh 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 <laughs> neon wait a minute I don't <laughs> I didn't even know what you were talking about like Wait, what? You just got here. What do you mean you have to leave? Like, that's fine. Totally. Leave if you need to. But then I saw that you, <laughs> you yeeted yourself into the pit of darkness. I'm like, oh, well, enjoy your time. Have fun. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> uh, mood. Mood, mood, mood. <laughs> Oh, it does feel like your day is over when you wake up, so you don't usually sleep until like 2 a.m. if I need. Oh, if I do, I set an alarm for earlier. That's good. Um, I don't want to give you dirt because I need that, Mare Auto. Oh, I know. I need to go over to the Singamabob because I need to buy some more stuffy roos. I think the last time I slept until slept in until noon is when I did my first ever 12 hour stream. Like, I'm not joking. I sat... Well, I didn't sit for 12 hours straight. I sat for six hours straight, got up, ate food, and did my thing. And then... I think after that stream, I slept for 12 hours. Streamed for 12 hours, and then slept for 12 hours. What a time. Go to bed? No, we have things to do. Not yet. We need to get the... We need to get a tap. But... Man, those were the days. That was like back in 2017 when I didn't really know how to stream. Especially when I streamed, but I had my face cam on. So I was like, oh no. <laughs> I think I got mentally tired. I think it was more mental tiredness more than than physical tiredness. Oh, hi. Be real with me. Has Damon ever mixed up his potions and his cocktails by mistake? Some of his drinks have made me feel a little light in my loafers, but like literally. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Possibly. We need to go over to the gloaming and go get our little saplings. I could donate these shiitakes to the wellspring. Yes. Or I could prototype some cute mushroom leather boots. That's also another thing you could do, Violet, as well. <laughs> you have options. Options are good. I hope there's there's a way that I can get rid of those little viney thingies. I don't think so. Hopefully this I have my little my dragon blood. How long do I have left? I think I have a day. 
two days okay so two days for this one i'll get two of those i'll get four from at that one and then four days from that one and then i think this one has three no this one also has four days so i have to wait basically four days in order to get all the things that i need which is fine but that means we have other things we can definitely do and then i'm okay with i'll be fine but today is Wednesday and tomorrow is Thursday. And I will say this week is going to be an interesting week because I stream on Friday in the morning. Because I have to go somewhere in the afternoon and then I won't be streaming again. I won't stream on Saturday because I'm going somewhere as well. But I won't be back until Monday. And you know what? I was talking to my parents about this because so i'm like i always forget yes i always forget because um when you go to the dentist you have to schedule your dental appointment every six months and like i can understand why but like it's so weird when you do plan like you schedule for six months and then it's like you don't know what you're going to do in six months. Like if you're going to travel anywhere or you get like a new job or you get married or someone gets married or to a wedding or someone has a baby or you have a baby. It's like, it's so crazy. And it's like, I always forget. Six months is a lot to think about. And then it just rolls up on you and like, oh, I have a dental appointment like in two weeks. <laughs> like six months ago my life was significantly less busy and now I'm more busier than ever before I'm like well this is lovely I can't reschedule it because if I try to reschedule my dental appointment they don't have an opening for like another like several months and I'm like oh no let's just do it now and get it over with luckily orthodontist appointments are easy to reschedule but dental ones oof they they busy they busy people I should as well get more wood yeah it's so interesting like since now i have braces and everything it's gonna be a little bit different going to the dentist because the last time they saw my teeth was they weren't jacked up I just had different things in my mouth. I didn't have braces. I had like brackets on my teeth. So they're going to be like, what is this? I've never seen this before in my life. Because did I ever? I don't. I'm trying to think if I went to my current dentist when I. Oh, jeweled rice. That sounds delicious. Um, if I ever went to my current dentist when I had braces the first time. I don't think I did. No. Oh, well, that's going to be interesting. I can't really remember. The lake, the ocean, mountains. I need one more fish. Hopefully. Oh, I don't have any bait. bait. Oh, I had to go get some from, not Linus, but uh, the bait man. Oh, you got braces too. This is your second and last round, thankfully. Oh, that's good. This is my second time getting braces as well. When I was younger, I think I was like maybe 13, 13, 14 or whatever, when I first got my braces. And then I wore a retainer, but I didn't really wear my retainer that much growing up because I was just like, I don't want to wear this. It's too much work. And then, of course teeth shifting and everything got my wisdom teeth taken out so that also changed my mouth and teeth a lot and then I got older and I'm like you know what I'm tired of having like a little lisp and a weird gap in my teeth and stuff like that I'm gonna get braces so this is my second time getting them and I'm okay with that and hopefully it'll be my last round because one, I'm paying for it this time. So it better be my last round. Um, and then also, um,
No. Yeah, because I'm paying for it, paying for it without insurance because I don't have insurance at all. So I'm trying to think. Hopefully I'll get a retainer. Should be able to. Maybe I'll get Invisalign after I get my bra my braces off. They say it's gonna take about like two years or so, like two two years. Cause in their terms, I have what they call a class three. And so I have an under a slightly underbite. I'm like, oh, okay. <clears throat> So it would take a little bit longer, but it's fine. But it was cheaper because I was already a, a previous in, previous client there. So I got to pay less. <laughs> oh, you lost your retainer three weeks before you got your braces on. So, oh, well, and just didn't wear one. Best three weeks of my life. Oh, well, you know, hopefully this time when you get your braces off again, you won't lose your retainer. Us people who have braces on and retainers, we gotta stick together. <laughs> we gotta keep ourselves accountable. Like we won't lose our brackets or our, we won't, we will wear our, our rubber bands and we won't lose our retainer. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. But I need to wear my rubber bands more because um, supposedly, I have to wear my rubber bands in my mouth for 20, 20 to 22 hours a day. I can only take them off when I'm eating or brushing my teeth. Going to the spa isn't really my thing. What? Who has that kind of free time? People without kids, maybe. But the onsen on a cold day, ah, it's a perfect little escape. That's true. What do we have for me today, Melina? I do want to buy, I need to buy more flour from you because I'm going to make some more fish. And I don't think Bruno's open. Bruno better be open at least. But then today is Monday. And so Bruno is closed and not open until tomorrow. And Sophia is not open because she's here and isn't open until I, I think tomorrow. I wonder if Natalia would have accused me if Giacomo were still alive. Maybe a woman on her own is an easier target. But oh. then, the fact that it was Natalia feels like even more of a betrayal. Oof, rough. Uh, Merc Joe, hello, hello. Welcome on in, friendo. I hope all is well with you. We're back to our coziness of wildflowers today. So some... A nice, chill, wonderful, wholesome, whimsical Wednesday. Um, oh, you lost your retainer years ago, and now I have your teeth again. Oh. Here, take your dirt. Pay me. Thank you. It's good to see someone engaging with the community notice board. Uh-huh. Does Vanessa seem on edge to you? Well. You were meeting a strange lady who's not your wife, so uh, she might not be that happy with you right now. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, what else would it be? What else would it be, Otto? I'm telling you, Otto, we had a town meeting recently and um, people were like talking about Mayor Otto. And he was saying, I met this strange lady in the woods like 10 years ago or so. And Vanessa, his wife, the first lady, who also is the teacher of this town, was like, what do you mean strange lady from 10 years ago? Things are getting a little bit heated in this town and I'm not the drama for once. <laughs> oh, let me get this mushroom. Here we go. So I did my dirt. We have one more day to collect our dragon's blood from the gloaming. And so really all we have today is we can just do some fishing, but we don't have any bait yet. So we could literally just chop down trees. These are the days where it's like more, like more slow because I did a lot of things off camera because I needed to in order to like progress through the game. Um, oh, I can't, oh, I can use it. Thank you. Oh, wait, can I afford this now? Parker, Parker, can I afford things from you now? I'm rich, kind of. 
Ooh, I can get a larger tool shed. I don't have the iron ingots for it, but I have the wood and the glass. Because that would be good for a larger tool shed. I don't have the glass or the iron ingots to make a larger greenhouse, which would take two days to make. Hmm. How much iron do I have? Because making the iron ingots is pretty easy from Natalia. And she's open today. Oh, I have 292 iron ore, which is good. I have 10 glass, which will take some time to make it. I'll make some glass while I'm at it. I should have sand. Okay, I do. Good. <laughs> the drama. Ooh, I love that baby Yoda emote. I too also have a Yoda emote. Yoda is the iconic icon, the man, the myth, the legend, all the things. Hi, Finn. Mommy and Daddy were having one of their discussions yesterday. Oh? Daddy said the neighborhood watch is important, and Mommy said it's silly for grown-ups to have curfews. But kids have curfews. Fair is fair. Whoa. Not the kids exposing their parents. What about you, Emmy? Mommy and Daddy only talk to each other when Finn and me are in the room. They're trying to act normal. They don't think we notice anything. But we do. Oh no. This is not good. <laughs> What's happening? I don't mean to keep breaking curfew. I know I'm making mom anxious, but I'm full of this like nervous energy. This feeling that something's about to happen. You know, it's called growing up and being a teenager. Hey, Sebastian. How's it going? Fine. Just been hanging with Juliet, you know, oh. making sure she's okay. Okay. That's nice of you. Vanessa, how are you doing? I probably shouldn't speak to you or anybody. I don't want to be implicated in any lawsuits over my husband's unfortunate decisions. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's not really good to know, is it? Oh, hell, Otto. What's on the uh, board today? Wood? Over Parker. Um, yeah, I can do that. But you close soon, so I'll close, make the speak a little bit slower, so I have a little bit more time, maybe to gather the ingots from Natalia. Not the children stopping to listen to, to talk about drama about their parents. I mean, kids will do anything. Kids are like, they see and know all. We think they know nothing, but they know everything. They'll tell your business without without even trying. Which is surprising. Parker's always going on about his wife and his kids whenever I see him. Mm -hmm. He hasn't had much to say about Lena lately. I wonder what's going on. Can you get, can they get divorced in this game? See, the thing is, you can, you can get divorced in Wildflowers by your own partner. I'm currently married to Kim. They are wonderful, iconic. I think we're going to go on a date soon. But I can't remember when. But... I don't know if the other NPCs can get divorced themselves. Because recently, Lena... Well, I know why Parker is mad about at Lena. Because Lena has been lying to Parker their entire life. And has been lying, that, lying to Parker that she's not a witch. But she is a witch. And the other thing... The other sad thing, too was um lena put a spell on parker to forget what he saw lena do in the dark woods so it's her little witchy magic so lying about everything their entire marriage before they had kids and then wiping his memory that's a lot <laughs> is it just me or has vanessa seemed kind of wound up lately She's usually so put together and cool as a cucumber. No. Oh. Maybe Otto's whole neighborhood watch thing freaks her out too. Yeah, I think so. Divorce, babe, divorce. <laughs> divorce, babe, divorce. You know, the other day I was trying to do a British accent, but I had no clue what I was sounding like at all. Cream cheese. What's this? Oh, pork dumpling. Can I make some fish now? Oh, I can't because I have no fish. I came to my stove for a reason, but then I kind of forgot. Oh! 
I meant to go over here to this thing to make some more glass. I should probably get one of get rid of one of these things. I really do not need this right now. I'm going to Oh, but I don't want to destroy it though. I wonder if I'll have some room. One, two, takes up four spaces. So if I move this thing, hmm, like right here for now, it's probably a bad idea. But if I move this back here, move this right here, and then buy myself another, oop, another um, glass kiln. I can put it right here a little bit and then I'll have twice the amount of things or twice the amount of glass I need. We're going to boost the production harvest so we can get twice the amount and then along with you twice the amount as well. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go back because I think all I really needed for Parker in order to make the bigger tool shed was just the iron ingots which I do have now and then all I need is a lot more glass and iron ingots to make the bigger greenhouse which I do also need because I have all these seeds right now in my inventory that I just want to grow but I can't because I have no room but luckily though we have an endless inventory so it's like not too bad at least yeah it is on switch it's a very very fun game take care of this thank you and then can you make the larger tool set for me you thank only you. take a day yeah thank you um this game was a little fun if only i had a switch uh i'm 32 out of 300 of the way there you know the good part about this game though i play on pc they do have a demo on Steam that you can play to kind of like test out the waters from the very beginning because I'm a little bit further in the game and I'm only I'm still in year one. But the best part, though, is that there is like no real ending per se to the game, I feel. But you should definitely check out the demo on Steam because it's only on Steam, Apple Arcade and also the Switch. I'm not entirely sure how long the demo is. Is it time for bed? Yes. But it's been out since I think September of 2022. And there's had quite a few updates. Um, the game is completely voice acted by individual people. Um, you have magic, you have, you know, of course, fishing, mining, gardening, foraging in a sense. Oh, I can still go in? Oh, nice. So it's really pretty expansive. The characters are pretty unique. The amount of things you can do with each character is nice because they all have different things. Like Angus is part of the bakery. Ariel is in the little magical world that we don't really visit that often, but we should. Amira is the doctor. Bruno is the town, um, drinking guy and also the owner of the fish and tackle shop and also the father of the mayor which is very interesting cameron's the the conscious of the mind person from california damon owns the local bar in the town giva is the meteorologist francis owns a jewelry store gma is our gma um kai owns like a little treasure booth in the town kim owns the butchery lena owns the general store marty owns the little uh what's it called like the homestead where you like buy your your seeds and things for your animals and you can also get animals there natalia is the blacksmith parker is the can um you know <laughs> what is it called the the he's you he can He's construction guy. But they're all pretty cool. They all have unique gifts, but they sure do have their Aww, fair share of drama. 
We also have the cat. But you can date pretty much anyone in this game that has more than three hearts. And each time they interact with them, of course, they have something to say. Usually something different or something the same. My, my spouse, Kim, gives me meat since they own the butchery. However, if you don't marry Kim or Amira, they end up together anyway. Which is quite surprising to me. Like, mm, mm not on my watch. But it happens. It happens a lot. So I think you would enjoy it. If you play games like Stardew or like Animal Crossing or um, some people have said like Story of Seasons. It has like that similar cozy vibe that you're looking for. And again, I've been playing this game for for feels like years, which it has been years. Two years to be exact. Oh, hi, Lena. How are you doing? I know Violet is going to want to track down every Echo Blossom in the gloaming. But please focus on what we need for the incantation. This winter cannot go on much longer. <laughs> cannot. Which today we can actually go to back to the gloaming and get our um our dragon blood vials. We have four of them we can collect today, and we'll get two more tomorrow. Which will be very, very exciting. Okay. Oh, you love Animal Crossing. The only reason I stopped was I had to get a replacement switch and you transferred with the date and lost everything. Oh no. Oh, that's not fun. I hate when that happens to people. I've lost a lot of data as well. I'm slowly but surely working on getting my external hard drive fixed because supposedly um, it no longer wants to work. And I have 10 years of history on there that I would like back. Like, I'm not joking. Every single video I've ever created in, like, ever is on that hard drive, along with all of my past save files <laughs> that I would like to have back, actually. But it's, it, it's a lot of money. It's like $500 to get it repaired. And I'm like, I don't want to pay that much. Because it's a four terabyte hard drive. And the thing is, I would have to buy a new external hard drive just so I can... Two hours, oh, um, for them to transfer to a new one, which I, which is what I want them to do. So in the meantime, I really just have to like wait it out until I have the means to it. And plus when I'm less busy. Hmm. I wonder, I guess when we change the season from winter all the way back to spring, you might be able to unlock this little area over here because we don't have the, the power to do it yet. And there really isn't anything we can do over here. I could go fishing. Do I even have all the gloaming? I do. There's only one gloaming fish. I need two fish from the mines, one fish from the mountain. One, two, three, four, five. Five fish from the ocean, one fish from the lake, and then I'm done with all the fish. The magic, however, I've got lots to learn. Potions, incantations, distillations, raw food, pots, fried pan food. I've got a lot to do. Gardening, tool sheds, hobbies. Well, actually, I don't really have that much. Well, it is a lot. Wait, really? Only to, wait, a refreshing... An energizing drink can be made with a juicer in your tool shed. What? Grape juice? I can make grape juice this whole time. Do I even have a juicer? I make beer, wine, cheese, and other interesting recipes. Maybe that is, that's not a juicer. Oh, wait, no, I do have one. Did I make one? I think I have one. I can make grape juice. I love grape juice. I even love apple juice too. Apple juice is good. But yeah, I don't know. I think 
I, I feel like Animal Crossing, one, came at the very perfect time for a lot of people, including me, because I personally have never played any of the Animal Crossing games up until New Horizons. And... Wait. Hold on. Time stops in the gloaming. Oh my goodness. I thought I could just stay here forever. No, I have to leave and then come back because time stops in the gloaming. That's wonderful. Now, only if they could add that in Stardew Valley. <laughs> that would be very nice. Oh my goodness. Imagine if they had the, the will, the power to stop time in the Skull Caverns and Stardew Valley. <laughs> However, then no one would ever leave home. No one would ever leave home or leave the Skull Caverns in Stardew if time did stop. I don't blame people. I wouldn't either. That way we can get more work done. Plus people have thousands and thousands of staircases. Oh, you played Animal Crossing games on the 3DS whenever. Oh, it's still being made. Mm. I heard that, um, I personally never owned a 3DS because I never had one. I wish I did because it was so cool. I always wanted to play like the My Sim games growing up alongside, uh, I think it was like those Nintendo games, like the Nintendo Dogs. Those were like some really cool games that I wanted to try. But I heard in the older games they were... Oh, not it being dark. It's 11 a.m. Oh my goodness. This one is brutal. Oh, what is happening? Oh, this is some scary stuff. But I heard like the old Animal Crossing games were very brutal because they would leave your island without saying anything to you. They would just up and leave, which I found very, very sad. I'm like, after all your hard work, and then they just say, deuces, without even leaving a note. Yes, give me my dragon blood. I need it. I need my dragon blood. I have no more spills, spillies. I'm just waiting for this one to grow. I have two days left for this one, which is kind of a lot. So I have to wait until Thursday to get all that I need. And then I'll be able to turn the seasons back to spring and we'll have good weather again. This winter is like oofy McOofy. It was a roller coaster. I believe you. I think there was like something unique about Animal Crossing back then because it was different. But I think I probably would have cried the entire time <laughs> if I played, um, um, where is it at? Yeah. If I played the older games because they would leave without saying anything, especially like my favorite characters. I spent about, I think over 400 Nook Mile tickets trying to find Marshall one time. It took me about a year to find him. A year of hunting in IRL years. A whole year was brutal. He was hiding from me. I eventually found him at ticket, I think, 400 something. Um, I didn't spend that long when I was trying to hunt from, for Flip. Or Joey. Joey, Flip, and Marshall are my three favorite villagers in the entire game because they're wholesome. And not scary. Amira, hello. So Otto was meeting with a strange woman in the woods. Any idea who might have been? I'm less concerned with who and more concerned with what she wanted. Whoever she is, she chose Otto for a reason. Oh, it was a strange lady, but a strange blonde lady. And the only blonde lady in this town is Lena. Hey, Bruno, can I buy some worms from you? I need about like 30 of them, some crickets, some tuna, some cla- not clams, squid, 
would be very great. Some chubs, about like, I'll get like a hundred of them. And then some salmon. There we go. Now I'll get a lot more worms. I'll just kind of sap them up. There we go. So this way, my little robot can start fishing like a mad person until the end of time. And then I have all the fish in the entire world. Pineapple, pomegranate, lime, apple, sapling, black. Mm, I think I'm okay for you, Kai, for now. How much flour do I have? Looks like I only have 47. I need a little bit more, more flour, Lena. How much flour is? 15? What by like 30? Ooh, I am, I've never been this low in my money. I'm broke. Wow. <laughs> I've never been this broke in my life. Well, that's a lie. I started the game I did. Here's some rice wine, Kim. Your favorite. <laughs> hey, this is just like my dad makes. I mean, it's not as good as his version. Oh, okay. That's fine, Kim. I'll love you either way. Hmm. I cannot wait until I turn the season so I can change uh, Tara's hairstyle because there's a hairstylist in this game, but only at in year two. I saw the Bramble Gate. Oh. I don't understand. Does the Coven have enemies? Clearly, but we don't know who. That's troubling. It. Oh, oh no. Wesley? It's nothing. Wesley? What are you hiding? Wesley's hiding something and I don't like it. You're broke no matter what game I play and I have, I have uh, saving money troubles, same. All of my, like in Sims, all of my Sims are broke, no matter what. More so it's just a me problem because I have a bad habit of buying expensive things in the Sims, like landscaping is usually all of my sims money this game i usually go broke because i'm buying a bunch of flour and a lot of fish so that way um eventually they can um i can like make more fish sticks because the only way to basically i feel like earn the most money is if you make a bunch of fish sticks it is worth it they are they are only a hundred coins each 100 coins each for each fish stick so i just made 30 that means i get 3,000 coins back which is wonderful um but the more the better i always say the more fish sticks you have the better and the more money you get and you just kind of keep redoing that cycle all over again until like you feel like you're you're done now, I can't remember. When did Sophia close? I think it's at five. I'm not going to make it down there, am I? At five. I'm running. I'm going on down. Because I need my money back at least. So that way, when I make enough glass, I can go ahead and afford a bigger... Uh, uh, what's it called? Greenhouse. So I can put more seeds in there and I can grow some more stuff that I need for the other seasons. That's the only fun part about like farming games. Like if you don't have something planted for a particular season, but you have the seeds for and you have a greenhouse, you're like, you're in luck. The greenhouse always comes in handy. Okay, 4,000. 4.8 that's good and i'll just continue to buy some more fish from you bruno a good old bruno man i've got some things to buy from you today like tuna tuna and then i'm gonna buy some some flour from lena <laughs> you know they say fish sticks are wonderful they are but I do love a good old-fashioned tofu, tofu stick, which is basically fish sticks, but tofu. Oh, you had, oh, you had like $890 to spend, uh, spent it all within a second. And it was, and it was 
1899, so that was a lot of money. Oof. Well. All I can say, at least you learned. But the real question though, would you do it again? Let's make some more fish sticks. 50. Give me the money. I need my money, money. Will I make it in time to get down there? I don't think I will. Cause it's 440. No, I'll just go back. I'll just go back home. I should make an incantation where I can run faster, which would be smarter, which I should do just do now. Nope, I'm gonna go back inside. Here we go. I will not lie, I hate seafood. No, same. I'm not a big fan of seafood. It just like depends on what it is. But I don't mind fish. But it's like, mm, I can't have too much of it because I'm like, or else I'm like, mm -mm, it's not good for me. It's icky. Oh, I can make one. And I have everything I need. So I'll just make one. Um, How long? Oh, it'll last a week. A few days. I'll make this one too. And all I'm missing is ink, which I can get that over here. And then the fall incantation, wonderful. I could make and turn that. Let's see what else. Reverse time, speed time, spell, summon rain, storm, freeze time, lock, animal shifting, summon small things longer. Hmm. Wood, stone, shells, other small items to jump into your back. Okay, I'll make this one then. There we go. And then I can go ahead and put this on myself to make the something smaller. And that will last for about a week. But I'll do that in the morning. So that way I don't waste like a whole day. Should I? Yeah. 100% you would keep doing until I die. I will not learn from mistakes. Mood. I will not learn from my mistakes in video games. Because the good thing, you can always restart over. I always try like I always try to find like a new method to earn quick money in video games or ways to spend it more. I try to find some value in my uh playthroughs. Once I crack the code of making quick money, nothing can stop me. But I feel like for me in the Sims, I get bored if I'm rich. Juliet said something about Vanessa accusing her of cheating on a math test. Oh? Like Juliet or Sophia need more scrutiny from the softs right now. I hope this blows over. Oh my gosh. The literal drama of this town is ridiculous. So my robots are doing the mining and all of the good old fashioned fishing for the next couple of days. So I will leave them be. I'll put more soil in here. I really want to figure out what this other thing is. I assume it's like dirt or something. Or something for worms. Mud pie. Could be another thing for a composting bin. I could be wrong. I don't know. Oh wait, my tool shed is fixed. Wait, this looks so cool. Oh my goodness, there's so much more room. <gasps> Oh my, I have room now. All of this space. Okay, well, I will put my gl my glass kiln back here. I'll put the second one back here too. I'm gonna get like a row of three. Oh my goodness, hold on. Put it down. Can I make another one? I cannot because I don't have my iron ingots. I need one more. My juice thingamabob, I don't have one, but I can make one because I want apple juice. Juice press, I'll put you like right here. And then the crystal thingy, put you back here for now until I get my iron. I'll put you right here. I'll put you right here, right there. There's so much more space now. It's kind of crazy. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> the tea. Ginger said hello. Welcome in. Uh, how do you have so much weed? I can I can find one on the entire map if I'm lucky. Honestly, I just kind of walk around everywhere. I feel like 
but the weed that I find in the game context um mostly it's like onesie twosie the thing is I've collected it over time I hoard things like the plague so I've been collecting the weeds pretty much since the start of the game like two years ago and I've just been like onesie twosie making the soil I have like 233 weed right now like I'm hoarding things like crazy but yeah you are correct though uh cat they kind of like appear every once in a while and honestly I just try to find as much as I can but I think it also depends on what season you're in too because I've learned that I had more weeds lying around in like I think the fall season at one point and then winter has been like onesie twosie spring is like kind of like fall but less hello hello ginger snap is good seeing today we are playing wildflowers so if you would like to check it out it is on steam apple arcade and the switch but if you want to try it out they have a demo on steam you could try oh well i'm just making too much too much soil i guess i i will say you can never have too much soil you can never have too much soil in this game i only have 40 and I've been mainly using the soil for like other projects to like for Parker or a bulletin board request. Like making the soil, I would need it to make the garden beds. This like only needs like one. Beehives. That all of them depends. What's the main purpose of this game? So ultimately, the main purpose, like the synopsis, is like you're you're almost like your sim your character tara wild is basically a witch in training well she is a witch in training by through her grandma hazel and the town of fairhaven uh sure and you discover that your grandma's a witch you help her with her farm you help her with her farm you meet the the residents of fairhaven from different things that they do in town whether it's a butchery or a smithery, a blacksmith, um, a constructioner, worker, meteorologist, you know, a fisher, a weird person in the woods, teachers, mayors, all the things. But the ultimate goal is, I, I guess, because I haven't played all the way through to discover everything, is I assume to bring balance back to Fairhaven. That's what I'm thinking. The main purpose is to bring balance back to Fairhaven. Because we're currently in year one of winter. And we're getting to the point of the game where it's getting a little bit sketchy. People are lying to each other about, you know, their marriages. People are arguing amongst their children. We're having some like witch, witch coven type drama, which is not healthy. On a lot of different ways, we might have some enemies. We discovered Violet's mother is somewhere around here that we don't know. She somehow probably disappeared. Um, like it's it gets very very interesting very quickly. The more that you play and interact with each character, they start to uncover more secrets about them. Like it's crazy on how detailed this game is. We're just waiting for the dragon blood to grow so we can turn the seasons. Yupon, hello, hello, friendo. It's good seeing you today. But um, the best part, you have an endless inventory, which is very good. You also have um, a chance to get married and divorce. Not by your own choice. Sometimes if you don't interact with your spouse as much, they'll divorce you, which is not good. Um, but you basically have all you need. You can never run out of anything and a pro tip for anyone that's just curious, um, to make the, the quickest money from what I have learned is, um, just buy a bunch of fish from Bruno and buy a bunch of flour from Lena, make your fish sticks 
and then sell them to Sophia because they sell for a hundred uh a hundred each so if you make like 50 fish sticks that's 5,000 coins you can get in this <laughs> it's very nice very very nice when you uh have a bunch of flour and fish because this stuff is expensive in this game it's expensive but this game's been out since mm, september of 2022 but i like this game so far i've learned a lot and i've, I've been having so much fun we've done giveaways in the past of this game we're gonna have more giveaways at some point hopefully down the line um but good things are coming oh i need more glass and more iron ingots okay so i need 50 iron ingots and then 25 glass i have well i had the money i had the money to afford a new spacious greenhouse but i no longer have that I kind of forgot what I spent that money on. Like, I really just don't remember. Sophia should be open today. And, oh, I have my fish sticks. That's what it was. I have my fish sticks I was going to sell, but she closed early. I knew it was something. Okay, hello, Sophia. Let me sell all of my fish sticks. And now I have 8,213 coins, which is wonderful. I'm going to keep all the stuff in my inventory for later. We've all, we've done everything for you. Soy milk. Oh, soy milk can be used to make tofu or candles. Okay, I'll buy one. Because I do love a good tofu moment. So all I need is I need to go over to Natalia since she should be open today to get my 50 iron ingots and then I can go back home and make a plethora of glass because I have so much sand. Oh, another pro tip too. If you haven't yet done this. Oh, this is great. You're a lifesaver. If you don't have Zephyr in your game yet, um, it, it only unlocks when you have the boat fix near your house. Uh, and Zephyr is a really good person to talk to if you want to get, like, automated robots to do, like, your fishing and your mining and caring for your plants and your animals so you don't have to. Like, I'm telling you, it's a, an absolute lifesaver getting these robots on your farm. I don't need that many, but I will more than gladly not do that. I need about like 30 at the most. I don't want to get rid of all of my iron ingots. I need at least some. But right now I currently have a robot dealing with like all of my um, building materials that I need. Like my stone and my coal and the sand and the clay and stuff like that. And the gold ore. Gold ore is probably the hardest to find because they're in the lower levels of the caves or I guess the mines. But this is my, over here is my little gardening buddy. And gardening hasn't been, you know, as much, but it's been fine. It's been okay. Let's see how much fish you have collected. How much have you fished for today, fish -a? Oh my goodness. You found so much. They really be finding a lot of fish. Oh, wow. Catfish. Carp. Can I, can I not use that for? Oh, I guess I did. Wow. That's a lot of fish. Lordy Lou. <laughs> goes to show when you have a robot who does all your fishing for you um i'm gonna go down to the mines so i can get my little <laughs> building materials yeah oh oh it leaves the bait oh good to know i will do that next time because i did not know that thank you thank you for that is my robot down here? 
Oh, no, I think my robot might be in the first levels. That's fine. But when I, f I, I don't know how you felt, uh, Kat, about this, but once you have your robot, it's like a dream come true. It's like all your problems are solved. Oh, this place is cleared up. Oh, here you are. Hi. Hi, Miney. What you got? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, this is what this is great. This is grand. I got Amazon Sapphire, coal, clay, fine sand, uh, a bunch of iron ore, copper ore, iron. Oh, this is good. Yee. I'm sorry, Twitch has been cutting out for you, Jet. That's not fun. It's been so. Oh, okay, interesting. Um. I don't know what's going on with Twitch lately. This is very, very weird. Heavily concerning. Hopefully something gets sorted out for you soon, at least. Okay. Let me move you over here. Move this right here. There we go. Oh, this is a dream. I've never been more happier in my life to have these little thingamabobs in my little inventory. Now I'm like, what do I do? Where do I go now? I can't get my, my dragon sword until tomorrow because that's not going to be done until tomorrow. I guess in the meantime, I could... Mm, see, the thing is, Kai doesn't have any coconuts. And the beach barely has any coconuts on hand. And I only have... Let's see. I could have sworn I had coconuts. Oh, I only have three coconuts and I need four... So I can make two of the little animal healing things for my cow and my sheep. But the coconuts are so hard to find. And enjoy your alert coupon. And Winnie, hello. It's good seeing you. And it's all good if, if you, you arrive when you could. And that's all that matters. Uh, my electricity has been out for the past two hours. Ooh, that's not good. That is very scary. Hopefully it wasn't nothing too, too serious, at least. I feel like a lot of the times, ele one electricity and internet these past couple of weeks, along with like Twitch stuff, has been glitching out. And I don't know what, what it is or how to solve it. So far, Twitch has been, been a little bit A-OK. -okay, at least on my end. Because before it was telling me I had unstable connection, but everything was fine. And I'm like, what do you mean, Twitch? I don't understand. Hmm. Who's open today? I don't really go to Damon's anymore because I'm, I'm an introvert. But Wesley, let me talk to you. You were saying something about, something about yesterday. Juliet's been asking me for fantasy series recommendations lately. I think she feels like she can trust me since I was in a town hall. She has good taste, then. Yeah. Hmm. You know, good taste in friends is a good thing. Oh, wait, do I have any more flour? I think I do. Do I? I have 11 flour and, like, a kajillion amount of fish, which is nice. But I will buy more flour. Until then, I shall wait because I need to make more glass. So I'll buy like, about like 50 for of the flour and I'll go back home and make more, more glass. Move around my little, my little uh, tool shed now. Now that's upgraded and larger than charge. I don't think I've ever had that much space in my life. Because in the beginning of the game, we have a very small little shed and then like, once I upgrade it, it, takes two days. I'm like, this is huge. I do have enough. Like, all of this space. I have so much to walk around now. I would like to make some little, some juice. Olive oil. Oh, I can make olive oil. Don't I need that for something? I'll make like three, because I feel like I need that for something. I can make soybeans. I'll make some orange juice. 
some grape juice and apple juice. I love juice. Make that and then make more of that. Boost that up. Let's see if we can make another little boosty boost. Zuko, hello. Welcome on in. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wholesome Wednesday. It's good seeing you, as of always, my friend. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a very nice, cozy morning today because it's only 65 degrees outside right now. This gives you summer season vibes. Mm -hmm. It has like that vibe, in a sense. Like a lot of people definitely say, like story of seasons, a little bit of Animal Crossing, a little Stardew, all mixed together. But it's like nicer. But also, welcome in, focus on me. It's good seeing you this morning. Hopefully, you've had a good rest, a good time. I need one of these. I'm gonna keep trying to make more and more of these so that way I can have them for my little, little thinking bobs. Speeds up the growth. Oh, I actually am gonna need that but it takes eight hours so i'll speed the time make it l faster and then these little thing bobs over here with more rice wine there we go also glue on hello welcome welcome in friend it is good seeing you here today hopefully you've been having a fantastic time it is very nice out i took a walk yesterday actually it's going really good. I cannot complain too much. I've been having a lot of fun these past couple of days, especially in this game. I don't know if you've played Wildflowers Gluon, but I think you would really like it because it has all the vibes that I think you would like based off of the games you've played in the past. Quick, easy to make good money in this game is fish sticks. Like, I'm not joking. If you want quick money, fish and flour, you'll be rich. <laughs> I've made more money in this game than any other game I've ever played. It just gets better and better, but it's completely voice acted. It has um, magic, farming, fishing, forging, mining. Um, you can get married in this game. There's some drama here and there when you get closer to, like, I guess, winter or fall. But it's good. You can try out the demo. It is on Steam. You love apple juice so much. Apple juice is just like a good, good delicacy. Oh, now I know why I went down here. Cause I needed more of, <laughs> I needed to make more of those little potion thingies. I don't think it was part of this. No, it is not. I cannot make it anymore. I've already used up my little things. I need to make more levitation potions so I can fly back and forth. But I realize I actually do have an incantation to run faster. And I have three of them. The time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. <laughs> I was like, I have three of these. I could should have used them all. Cause I'd be running slow. I was you very much want to play this game. You should. It's a very fun game. It's been out since September of 2022. So it is, it is a good game to try. You need to play it. You did buy it for your daughter based on your recommendation. See? Now you now you have to play it. It's a very good one. It's very... I would say the game, to me, it doesn't really have an ending, I feel. Just because I haven't completed the entire game yet to discover what it's like to end off this game. But it's not bad. It is not bad. Uh, five days, I'll get two of those, two of these. If you need any tips, any ideas at all, let me know. I'm more than happy to give thy tips. Mm. Ultra Miracle Girl Potion Violet. Why do you want to make it rain? I guess. <laughs> But overall, highly, highly, highly recommend. It can only get better. I haven't even, I don't even have an alpaca yet. And I want an alpaca so badly. My cow and little sheep are very sad because they are feeling very sick. And I do not have enough coconuts to make two of said potions. So I have to make one. 
in order to actually um get them healthy my chickens however are also not doing so well either i just need coconuts that's all i need but friendos there are some other games i've been wanting to try out as of lately just because they're um there was another cozy game that I saw recently on, not YouTube, but it was Twitter. It was called Summer House. And I really want to play that game very soon. I think I might try it out next week. Let me see if I can actually... It takes three hours left to make. Three hours, that's fine. I'll wait three hours. I'll go down to the forest. This is only Wednesday and I need to make it sure it is... Thursday to get my little dragon blood. Get two of these. And I need 25 in order to upgrade my greenhouse to get more space. And I currently have eight right now. Let's get this one. That'll give me about two, so I'll have ten. Look, little tower running wild. Literally. <laughs> Natalia's not open because it's five. I just go from work to the consciousness center or to Damon's bar. It's too cold to do much else. You know, that's a valid point. You can always stand near your fire. Hello, Giva. I've been writing a letter to my cousin back in Bangalore. Oh. Dear Shravya, a man accused me of witchcraft because I was trying to conduct routine experiments. But then he changed his mind. Also, the mayor has been consorting with a shadowy woman in the woods. Fortunately, the ferry is still out of service, so I have a front row seat to all this for who knows how long. Well, on second thought, better not send that letter. Hmm. Not give a just already just like pretty much exposing the entire town. This town has so so much drama, but it's like subtle drama. But it gets better and better and better. The mayor is shady. I'm I'm seeing a pattern. I am literally seeing a pattern. If you know the mayor from Stardew Valley messy beyond all reasons Me hooking up with marnie the person who owns little like animal place things in pencil town in Pel pelican town that mare's crazy this mare is also crazy meeting a mysterious shady woman blonde shady woman in the woods 10 years ago didn't tell his wife of any kind and then the mayor in coral island I haven't played him enough to like discover wh what he is because I'm sure all mayors in every farming game I've ever played is shady. Oh my gosh, it all makes sense. Tom Nook, shady. We can't, we can't get rid of him. Tricks in the rain, I can do. Tricks in the snow are just not gonna happen. Yeah, it didn't click until I realized, like, oh my, this is messy. The whole town's messy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, messy mares. Also, say our hello. Welcome, welcome in. You love my wildflower play days. You won this game on my channel, and it's one of your favorite games now. Oh, that's so cool. It's so cold out. Well, why not try a loaf fresh and hot out of the oven? That'll make you feel toasty. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> I will say, I'm so glad I've been able to do a bunch of giveaways for this game. I've just been asking the developers, like, hey, I'm doing this thing. Do you have some giveaway codes that I could give away, supposedly? And they're always so nice um, by doing that. Um, but I really love Wildflowers. Like, it's one of my favorite games as of lately to play through because it's different. And for me, I don't like reading as much as the next person because like i don't want to read all the lines i rather hear it because you can kind of feel when you're hearing something you can hear the emotion within the in the character's voice oh an hour left so i like that it's all voice acted it's very inclusive very diverse with like the hairstyles the characters like lives that they live the drama it just gets better and better every day. Take all. Oh, perfect. I have this for three days. I'll give you this for five okay. days, Swirly. Tom Nook equals the shadiest, always. Always. Never trust a raccoon, bear, rabbit, 
dog thing. Oh, what? I don't have anything? Oh, wrong one. <laughs> hey, Woody. Chop, chop. Copyright? Oh. And Holly, enjoy your lurky loo. Have fun. Um, but the ultimate goal for this game, it really is just like you're just trying to find, um, bring back peace and harmony to Fairhaven. But also take care of your grandma's farm. Build it up. Build, you know, grow crops, meet new friends, but also increase in your magic because you are a witch in training in the beginning of the game. But then you slowly start to realize that Fairhaven is not what it seems. Everyone is always hiding something, but we don't know what for. But each character has good intentions, I feel. But as you can see, though, each character tells you like what they do for work and also like how so how many days they work, how old they are, a little bit of a backstory. The more that you talk to them and the more hearts you have, the more they kind of uncover in their little story here for Amira, Angus, Ariel, Cameron, our own cat, Cleocatra. I should probably feed my cat salmon because I know that's salmon right there. And do I even have salmon or did I make fish sticks? I don't know. But it's really fun. You should definitely get this game. You, I Before buying it though, I will say try out the demo first. So that way... Oh, I don't have salmon. Oh well. Um, but yeah, definitely try out the demo first. It's on Steam. So that way you can kind of like play around with play around with it in your game on your computer so you can kind of get the feel and the vibe but i think once you play it you're gonna fall in love for sure because i personally have fallen in love with this game time and time again i've been playing the same save file for the past almost two years and i barely have scratched the surface and tabby go hello welcome on in but yeah, it's on Steam, the Switch, and also Apple Arcade. And I think it's like $30, but to me, $30 is worth the price for this game because on the amount of content there is, all the stories that you can un unlock, the potions, the incantations, finding all the fish, finding all the foods, you know, crafting all the items and interacting with each character. And even like your magic. Like I just uncovered... I think the last part of the gloaming, I'm pretty sure, because all the stones have things in them. But it's so interesting. Francis joined us at a stressful time, but he's resilient. More than he knows. Oh, really? Shelby? Mind that no one finds your sanctum. Oh? It'll be hard to explain that before Otto and his neighborhood watch. Or we can just expose him for the fraud that he is, he hooking up with somebody in the deep dark woods who's blind from 10 years ago. I've always wondered why Amira's allergy meds worked so much better than the over-the-counter stuff. So many things make a lot more sense now. Mm-hmm. I don't trust Mayor Otto. I, you know, my friend Luke, Luke is a, a streamer, and he says the mayor's cool. I told Francis the story of that witch with the hawk familiar, mm -mm. and maybe I shouldn't have done that. Wesley mentioned Francis was trying to research the world's slowest, safest animal familiars. Well, oh? if we see a very dignified tortoise walking around soon, I think it'll be safe to say those two things are related. Oh, okay. But no, Mayor Otto, shady. Don't trust him. Not good for you. You can't fix them. This makes me laugh. Even if you try. <laughs> Every time he tries out a new potion, <laughs> he checks with me to make sure he won't poison himself. Oh. And Violet, what do we have for you? Cast any good incantation spells lately? Uh. Mm, no. no. Ugh, me either. I'm not very good at them. Potions, though. I'm a killer. Oh. Questionable. I will go home now because there's nothing to do until tomorrow. I think we'll be able to turn the season so we'll have a, another cutscene tomorrow in the game because all we are waiting for is five dragon blood vials we have four and we need one more and i don't know what that means it says find dragon blood trees in the gloaming and tap them to get dragon's blood sap 
I don't know what it's used for. Well, I guess it, it, well, not to spring one on you. So I guess that does mean, of course, changing the seasons to, to the winter to spring again. <laughs> uh, this game is just so interesting. Oh, Julia, it's 11 p.m. Miss Madam. I just want to go sit in the woods by myself and play guitar, but now I can't. Why, Weather? Why do you do this to me? Oh, dramatic. You love these little gossip sessions you have with the, with the other people. Who doesn't love the game tea? I know. It just gets better and better. The juicier, the better. Do you like honey mint cooler? How could I say no? Thank you. You're welcome, Natalia. I do need to uh, eventually figure out um, all of their favorite things that they like. I know Kim likes rice wine and um, I think it's sushi, I think. And I have no rice wine for you. But I will. Oh, you booped my nose. <gasps> Wait, we can choose another date spot. A dinner date? Feed your appetite. Or a more. Ooh. A love, beach. I'd love to take a walk along the beach. Oh. Would you like to join me? Always. I can never turn down a chill day with you. Oh. This is so cute. Oh. A walk on the beach in the snow. <laughs> a little bit different. But it sure is something. Kind of cute though. Ooh. Aww. Cute. You know, I don't think I used to appreciate the quiet little moments in life. At least, not until I met you. Let's never stop dating each other, okay? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! I love that so much. Oh. Oh, that's my robot. I'm like, why is my tree shaking? But it was my robot chopping down my trees. I got, <laughs> I got heavily concerned. Like what's going on with my farm? But you know, it's just a random robot just chopping down some trees, you know? normal things <laughs> anyway let's go downstairs to our basement but first let's go and do our glass kiln and make some more while we're ahead get our little thingamabobs out the way downstairs in the basement well kim no downstairs we should have oh we have nothing that's done besides the essence of copper and, oh, did we get all the, wait a minute, what, did I, when did I grab, you know, I have no recollection of grabbing the boost harvest potion at all, I have literally no recollection whatsoever, anyway, that will brew like three of these, that'll take four hours, I need more copper, essence of copper, I knew I needed that for something. So I'll make more essence of copper and do that. And while that's doing that, we'll just wait. We'll go down to the gloaming, get our little little thing of majiggers. Our dragon's blood. Oh, rice wine for Kim, yeah. We're making that for Kim for special for a special reason. I wanna see if we can unlock more date spots. Yeah, actually, I think I can check what Kim likes. Oh, we know everything. Okay, so rice wine, ramen, Buddha's delight, sushi, and then a miso soup. That's what Kim likes. All Kim likes all of these, which is great. So hopefully they um really appreciate me more and more. I really don't know what happens when you get all of like the little hearts up for all the dates completed. I'm pretty much friends with everyone at this point, or I guess casual friends and good friends with almost everyone. Um, 
surprisingly, even the mayor, I'm a friend of him. That's sketchy beyond all reasons. Sebastian, where he's just a villager, villager, villager. I think if I talk more to Sebastian, Vanessa, Zepper, Kiri, and Finn, and Emmy, we'll, we'll all become friends. And then hopefully I'll unlock more for Wesley. I have that uh, little bowl thingy where I can discover what their favorite foods are. Because that was the only way I was able to actually like become good friends with Kim. By just secretly using my magic. Saying, hey, here's some rice wine, here's some sushi. Just for you. But you know what the sad thing though is, Tabiko? Is that um Kim still does not know that I'm a witch. <laughs> I still cannot believe that we found out that Lena lied to Parker, her husband, about being a witch, but then also wiped his memory about what he saw in the woods. I'm like, whoa, 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 Lena. Okay, we have to wait four hours. So we have to leave the gloaming. Because somehow in the gloaming, time stops. <laughs> the crystal ball is definitely a lifesaver. So in the meantime, I guess we can just chop down some trees since the robot only goes to our farm. Around here. Shelby should be at their house. Lena is doing what she ha had to has to do. True. In order to protect the family, she must wipe thy memory. Of people that she loves even her own kids the kids said mommy and daddy were having another discussion in air quotes last night and like oh no that's not good not mother and father having a discussion that's never good shelby do you have any coconuts please say you do i need coconuts badly you have nothing that I want. And I have nothing to give you, but I can give you all these things to earn money. I'll just give you like 20 mushrooms. Why not? In the meantime, I'll just chop down more trees. I love little Shelby. Shelby's so nice. Yes. I would one day would love to go inside of their houses. Like, if they did an update, I would love to go into their house. Just to see it. what it looks like on the inside. Because I'm always thinking, like, their home is, like, so grand and great. But also the same size as our own home. Which is valid. Um, oh, here it is. Last a week. Objects far and objects near. Get up and fly from there to here. Yay! There we go. Now we can just chop down things and I have to like click constantly. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Jet, welcome back. Hopefully you don't have any, any more issues with Twitch today. I'm glad to see you back though. You will to see the inside of his house too. I wonder what Shelby has inside of his house. Probably like random like pine cones and toadstools and things oh, I can go on the side no way I can see a chair and that's it <laughs> I'm really curious I am also like wondering like what will, will they do another update to this game I would say I would love to see at least one or two more two one or two more updates and then I'm okay with an ending <laughs> Because I have a feeling at some point we'll have a quest to fix the boat to Fairhaven. And maybe we can go to the city? It looks like it would be cozy but chaotic, which is uh, what we what we love, right? Yeah. Co cozy yet chaotic. Exactly. <laughs> oh, hello, Lena. What are you doing in the woods today, huh? What's wrong, Lena? Oh, it's snowing. And snow means I get at least one complaint from a resident about my kids pelting them with snowballs. What? Usually Otto. Well, Otto deserves it, so. Eh. 
Oh well. <laughs> Otto deserves to get pelted with snow. That's normal. Snow turns into water. Henceforth, your suit gets wrinkly. So I'm like, eh, you can always buy a new one. And now they should be ready. Please be ready, Dragon's Blood. I need you to be done so I can turn the seasons. I am tired of winter. Yes, finally. I got all the Dragon Blood that I need. So now all we have to do is, I guess, do something. Maybe give it to Lena? Or maybe when we leave, there will be a cutscene. I don't know. <laughs> Cutscene? Okay, no cutscene. We might have to wait until the night time, which is fine. It'll be more mysterious then. So I guess in the meantime, for now, we really have nothing else to do in the winter. That's why I don't like playing a lot of farming games in the winter time. Farming and winter does not mix very well. <gasps> wait, I have money. And who is this stranger who is gracing me with her presence? Uh, is this my wife? Oh. Cut it out, Parker. <laughs> Come on, Lena. I'm just teasing. You work too hard. The shop, the kids, visiting your dad in Milkwater. At least you should take time to hang out with your friends like this lovely lady. Am I right, Tara? Ooh. It's all about balance. I think you might have a point, Parker. But Lena has to find a balance in her life that works for her. Look, I know Parker is right. I just don't know how to make more time in a day to actually do the relaxing part. <sighs> you know, I wish I had more time to spend with my friends. Really, I do, Parker. But then I really don't have that many close friends anymore. I haven't done the best job keeping up with people. No I same. I'm glad you moved back, Tara. It's been so nice rekindling our old friendship oh wait we're good friends well that's really nice to have a good friend oh we don't even have enough soil to make our hay field well we do need a bigger hay field anyway a field for animals to gaze in barn animals will no longer need to, to be fed hay so we'll just need more of that we'll need more glass and iron ingots so that's normal <laughs> just one just one but this game is called wildflowers it's a really really fun cozy indie game based around farming fishing forging magic all the fun stuff and we gotta support our indie developers because indie developers are out here doing some hard work making these crazy cool games out here like it's just like wow I'm always like blown away like how people make video games this big because they've had a few updates with this game in the past almost two years they'll be celebrating two years in September okay which is very exciting two years of funness oh I would need to clear out this field to make my hay field and I don't think my soil is done. Oh, no, it is. Good. So I'll help Woody clear out this field so I can get my hay field ready. <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, time to chop down some wood. Okay. Because Woody is taking too long. And the sad thing, though, we're not going to make it in time. So, does Parker open tomorrow? He better open tomorrow. Okay, you do. I am so glad today is Thursday. So we can go ahead and spend 2,000 coins on a hay field. So we no longer have to feed our animals. Save on money. And then put all of our focus on healing our animals. Because all of them are sick. Chimpkin... Pita, uh, Clarabel, and Midnight are all sick. Oh, finally. And I don't have enough coconuts to make said uh, healing potions for them. Yes. I wonder if there's like another way you can like make coconuts or heal your animals. Because I don't have all the proper magic spells yet. 
I haven't learned them all. Okay, I think this is all I need. Maybe one more. No trees better grow tomorrow. I know. I would, I would, I wish I had more. Oh, finally. Winter is probably the hardest season out of this, out of all games I've played because there's not a lot of things you can do. Unless you're like really stockpiled on everything. I didn't learn about hoarding things until maybe midway through of spring. And I'm like, oh, I should be hoarding all of this food and all of these like sticks and stones. I want my goodies. And I just kind of forgot. <laughs> but I definitely learned quickly about the fish sticks though. Yes. Is that the famous Dabney underscore Mallory in my chat? <laughs> Ah, a nice open field. Ready for tomorrow. What? What? What did I do? I did nothing wrong. Clearly, I did nothing wrong. Tee hee. Tee hee. Okay, good. Now I can levitate. Levitating. What? Not the typing sound. Oh, you can hear all that? <laughs> Mood. <laughs> you weren't that sneaky? Oh. Maybe I should turn my microphone down when I do that. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, got that. I'm gonna make some more juice. Can I drink my juice? I can. Cool. I would like to clarify, I don't think I'm famous in Steve in this one. Um, am I though? Am I really trolling if it's true? Everyone's a cool streamer. Dabney's a very cool streamer on this platform, henceforth famous. How's it going, Gibbo? What's? Why are you so sad? Is it getting cold up in the observatory? Ugh, it's positively frigid. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. I love it. I tend to the stove, make myself hot cocoa, snuggle up in my blanket. Mm, it's very cozy. But why do you look so sad? Hi, Violet. We're supposed to believe that the fairy breaking down is now a coincidence? Not with everything that's happened at the you-know-where. All this drama is making me so stressed. I'm gonna get cold sores. My hair will fall out. Ooh. Violet, calm down. And the fairy in question, I haven't even shown you all at all. It is over here. The boat that we landed on in Fairhaven is literally broken, sunk, damaged, crazy. But over here is where Bruno lives. Is this Bruno's house? And what's even sadder is that Bruno lives in here in this boat, but then his son, Otto, Otto Sop, lives in this big gigantic mansion in Fairhaven. All the way over here, conscious of the mine, aka the church, and then over here is where Mayor Otto lives in this big old mansion for two people. I always found that so funny. I'm like, you don't want to give your old dear old father space in your home, in your five bedroom home. Nah, I don't really blame Bruno. They called Francis to the circle, and <laughs> I know he's freaking out. I'm trying to help guide him like you did when I was an initiate, but we just don't have time to do things the right way. He loves her with the flowers. It's so wholesome. I don't really blame Bruno of wanting his boat. I wouldn't want to live in a mansion. That's too big. Big houses are like 
spooky, especially at night. Also, Amanda, hello. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Wonderful, wholesome Wednesday of wildflowers. Glad to see you. We can change the seasons. Friends, it's time. I have the dragon's blood you asked for. Is dragon's blood really this color? I'm not sure to tell the truth, what? but the sap from the tree is full of magic straight from the wellspring. <laughs> then it's perfect for turning the seasons. I'll be back when I have the incantation. What? Oh my goodness. When I thought I was done, they said you have more to do. <laughs> Um, but welcome in Amanda. I hope you are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. We are zooming on through wildflowers, getting things done from our incantations to making potions, meeting friends, and growing our farm here in Fairhaven. Oh, hey, Thomas. I haven't talked to you in a while. Strange thing. This island has seen plenty of winter storms, oh. but none so bad that they took the ferry out of service. Parker and I will get it fixed. My mom's 70th is coming up. Oh. She's not going to take a broken ferry as an excuse for missing her party. So when are you going to fix it? That's something I would like to know. When are you going to fix it? They really tell you a lot, but without telling you a lot. So like me and Parker are going to fix it. But when? When are you going to fix it? Ooh, my glass might be done today. Um, nope, I have two hours left. Actually, no, I should do this. Boost it up. Boosty, boosty. And then I can go downstairs to my basement and make my incantation, which I think I need stuff for that I probably don't have but can't remember. But I should be able to make it, though. I do! Thank goodness I have everything. Because the fact that I almost lost or didn't have any more parchment paper would have been crazy. Oh, Lena, I'm ready! I'm going to fly there. I have no time to run. No time to run. Okay. I'm back! Oh, Lena, I have my incantation. Are you ready to turn the seasons? Yes. I'm tired of, win of winter. Yes. It's time to melt this winter into spring. I wholeheartedly agree. We do need one more ingredient. Oh, my god. I'll bring it tomorrow night, and we'll conduct the ritual then. Once it's <sighs> spring and the fairy is running again, maybe our lives will go back to normal. Oh, my gosh. Lena. Here I thought we would have been done. <laughs> I was so excited. And then it's like, no. One more thing. I'm like, Lena, please. I beg of thee. I just want to, I want to be warm again, not cold. Also, my arm is literally hurting. Why is that? Ow. <laughs> Here I thought I was gonna be done. I was lied to in the game. I said I have the dragon's blood. Wonderful. Make the incantation. Okay. I have I have the incantation. Great! One more thing. What? Like this again? The waiting. Oh, that is true. I can get my field done now. Oh, oh, I, yeah, that's right. Because all I needed was soil. And I have said soil. And that will take two days to make, so it won't be done until Saturday. Or no, or technically Sunday. So I'll just go to bed. Is it time? I'll go to bed now. <sighs> Lena should be open tomorrow so I can make more fish sticks. Cause I would love more. So I would love more money, actually. Okay. Oh. We'll find her, Sophia. I promise. Hey, is everything okay? <laughs> Juliet's missing. We had a fight about her curfew last night, and when I called her to breakfast, she wasn't in her room, and the window was open. Uh, I don't know if she snuck out this morning or sometime in the middle of the night. 
This is my fault. I should have been so hard on her. Okay, where have you looked? I went to Kim's shop first. I thought she may have gone there. We've checked the school and all over town square, but no sign of her yet. She can't have gone far. No. We should split up. Sophia, search the beach and ask Thomas to help. Kim, you could check the mountain pass and ask Giva if she's seen her. I'll check the forest. Whoever finds her first should bring her back to Sophia's cafe, and we can meet there. Okay. Oh, wow. Thanks, Tara. It's good to have a plan. I can't help find my daughter if I'm hysterical. We better. Oh. Oh, it's freezing out. I better use a scrying spell if I want to find her quickly. Ooh. That's not good. Oh no. I cannot believe Juliet is gone or she ran away. Juliet, Juliet, where are you? We're not playing Romeo and Juliet, that's for sure. We're trying to find where is Waldo, but with Juliet. Follow the lightning orb. Where are you? Juliet? Juliet? Where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are. Whee! <laughs> I'm sprinting. She's in the woods, aren't you? You're in the what, aren't you, Juliet? You're in the gloaming, aren't you? Where are you? Oh. Oh! Are you all looking for Juliet, too? Sophia came by the shop on the way to Kim's Butcher, but I thought she would likely find her there. And what is that? cast an enchantment at the circle. What? It wasn't us. Could it possibly have been Juliet? Her father was in the coven, <gasps> right? I don't even think she knows she's a witch. Tara what? thinks she's up there. So we got to find out what's going on. What in the Winx Club is going on here? What is what that? Wow. Oh, her. She's just a kid. We must find a way to safely bring her Kalina's down. So if we happy. blast the bubble with our wands, she could get hurt. <laughs> There's a spell that should work, but we'll need to gather the items quickly. Novice, see if you can find them. Journeyman, initiate, go find Sophia and Kim and tell them that we've located Juliet. On it. Oh, we have everything. Wonderful. See, this is the power of hoarding everything you, you can see. You never know when you need things. Hoard it all. We have everything now. Oh, wait. Hold on. How do I take a... F <laughs> I'm going to see a little selfies like me and my floating bestie out here in the woods. <laughs> hmm. Me and my floating bestie out here having fun. I'm going to retake the photo. I'm going to decompose. Hmm. This is a good one. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Let's save that. <laughs> save as of my computer. <laughs> save. Make a new one. Oh, no, go back. No, go back. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong stuff. Mm. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so we have things to do. We have um a, a child to save. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, this is a perfect opportunity. I have okay. the ingredients, High Priestess. Let us gather round her so that we can catch her should she fall too quickly. <laughs> Dark enchantment I shall break, Ooh. and spellbound child will soon awake. Juliet? What did you do? Where's Vanessa? Vanessa? Wait, what? Did she do this to you? She said... She knew my secret, and she would tell my mom if I didn't meet her by the old tree in the woods. But when I got there, she was wearing this weird robe and a mask. What? She said that you kept her away, but I would help her get in. You're Giacomo's daughter. Our glamour was a spell he wrote. 
She must have figured out that he was part of the coven. She made me put my hand on the gate, and suddenly this whole place just appeared. Oh, like it had always been here. Oh, no. That's the last thing I remember. You're safe now, Juliet. We won't let anyone hurt you. This is just a lot. She's just a child. <gasps> oh, Juliet! Mommy! Oh! Are you okay? Uh, what did they do to you? Nothing. It wasn't their fault, Mom. There. Really? Is it Coven here? Wait a minute. I was blamed for oh. something you all did? Oh. <laughs> you were the malcontents. No. We're trying to help the town. Really? Mom, can we please just go home? I'll explain it all when we get there. Well, I'll try. Okay. Let's go, baby. So now what? Now we have to find Vanessa before she gets herself into serious trouble. <sighs> Will this day never end? Oh Hi, my gosh. Wait. Why are the four of you here together? Wesley has something he needs to tell you. Yeah, the Wesley. Woman found Juliet. I recognized her. I met her several months ago. She this game is on Steam though. Yes. She had a werewolf suppression potion. One that actually worked. But in exchange, she, uh, Vanessa, I suppose we now know, wanted updates on the Coven's activities. And he took it! He took the stinking deal! She reminded me of a figure from stories I heard as a child. A very powerful figure. And so I didn't want to say no. What is, go what is going on in this town? Oh my goodness. This is wild. Um, oh my gosh. Wow, but no, this game is on Steam, Apple Arcade, and the Switch. Um. Oh, my golly, goo gosh, this is messed up. I thought you were our friend. This is I cray cray. Can't you do this. I never wanted to be a werewolf, Tara. Oh yeah. What she promised was a return to the life I used to live. High Priestess. When I first arrived in Ravenwood Hollow, this kind of criminal would have been sentenced to death at the oh. coven's hands. Perry, no! It is your decision, not ours. What will you do with him? Kill him? What? Right now? Certainly not. What? While I'm furious with you, Wesley, we don't have time for vengeance. I am grateful. We need to know where Vanessa went when she was here, boy. What does your sniffer tell you? That nose is wide open. You can smell a lot of things. I think it's obvious she went this way. And then she went through here. Thank you. I should have known it would be the third pillar. She's oh. no fool. She sealed it shut. Then oh. we need to unseal it. I think I can make that happen. How? And why should they trust you? Because I'm the one who supplied her parchment. What? Over time, I got a sense of the techniques she uses. Here, Tara. You have the skills to fix this. Consider these supplies the beginning of my... <laughs> Shelby's like, what's going on? Now is a sunflower. I believe you can grow them in your greenhouse. Go ahead, Tara. The rest of us will stay here in case Vanessa comes back. And we'll be returning to Ravenwood Hollow. We've been away for too long. Come along, Wesley. You've done enough damage to the coven already. I really am sorry. Oh my gosh! We'll talk gosh. about it later. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. You know, I had my suspicions from the very beginning. You know, first of all, the mayor shady as ever. Don't trust him. He's crazy. He has an agenda. But I also found it very suspicious because I'm like thinking, okay, your wife is, you know, the first lady, but also the teacher in Fairhaven. No one else could have done it. Okay, that seems very weird. So, mm -hmm. I don't trust any of them at all that's oh okay that's just crazy i love wesley more than anything but like wesley you can't trust the shady lady that she is she's crazy but you know what's so sad though i also felt bad for vanessa at first when i when we found out that otto was meeting a blonde lady secretly in the woods 
when he was still married to Vanessa like 10 years ago or so. That I felt bad about. I'm like, okay, that's not good. Mayor Otto's shady. Should have known. Always knew. But now I'm like, Vanessa's a little bit more shadier than ever. I'm like, uh-uh. Part of me feels like Vanessa put a spell on Wesley to give, uh, to make Wesley give her the parchment paper and things for the incantation. And do I have everything to make it? Um, I don't, oh no, I do. Oh, thank goodness. I don't, I can't craft it yet. I need to boost my magic. Um, how do I drink? I should not drink this here. Oh, uh, what? Oh, I guess not. Let's see. Magic, 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 magic. Potion, rose water. Hmm. You know, I honestly, I should have put the stuff in the thingamabob. I'll just, you know what? No, I'll just, I'll do this. I'll fly back. And then I'll run back. Yeah, I don't, I didn't have that one. Or did I? Well, that's just for my regular energy. I didn't have one for the magic part. Oop, keep that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have one for the magic part. Yeah, I wish I did though. I should probably make more if I can. I have two rejuven rejuvenation potions. The energy part. So in order to make, yeah, can't can't you make those? Make the magic ones. The possibility. Um, let's see. Do I have? I don't have most of them. Hmm. Oh wait. Oh no, I can make all of my animal sickness potion sickness potions. I just need one more coconut to make all four. That's right. Hmm. Charming potion. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what these other ones are, but I assume they mean something. Oh, we can make them? Okay, good. Good. It's also Friday. It's very quiet in this town. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, like, it's very quiet in this town. No one's out and about. But I forget they all open at 9 a.m. Not 8. Very shady. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> Let's make our little incantation. And then run all the way back. Thaw it out. I can make two of them? Well, that's good to know. In the meantime, I will make more of um, the levitation potion. So that way I have them on hand for later. Make some more of this essence of actually rice. Oh, I don't have any more rice. Mm, more of that. There we go. Is Parker open? He should be. I'm hoping he's going to be open today. Because I think I read that he was open. Yeah, five. Soon. So when we get there, he'll be open. We don't need anything from Natalia. Because it's going to. I know it's gonna be a while to get the glass so we can upgrade our greenhouse. So that will be a later time for another day. Then Parker, you can start making my little field. Please, Parker, please take my money. Mm. Yes. Okay, I'll be over there right quick to start on your field. Sure. Okay, bye. Here to expose everyone now. It's time. Also, Ginger Snap, thank you for the 140 bits. I really do appreciate it so, so much, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Um, It's time now to freeze Vanessa out. Or I guess thaw her, thaw her out. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> um, wait. Did I not do that right? 
Oh, I don't I have to wait until tonight? <laughs> I didn't I did not listen very well. Oh, take it to the high priestess. Duh. Okay. If I read it, it'll make more sense. But thank you, thank you though. I need to utilize my bits more. I think I have like onesie twosie. I think I have like maybe a hundred bits somewhere. I remember a long time ago when, um, this was like a couple of years ago, actually, when Twitch had it where you could watch an ad to earn bits. I thought that was so interesting. Like, can we have that back, please? Because <laughs> that was the only way I would get, get bits, free bits from watching an ad. I thought it was a cool system at first. And like, oh, okay. Oh. The beginning of spring will be such a relief. And maybe a chance for a fresh start. Maybe. Oh, I don't have flower. But they don't they no longer have that system anymore where you can watch ads to get bits. I wonder why they got rid of it. Hmm. Never know. I'm gonna buy I have 50 now, 50 flower, which is good. Cauliflower, this will take some time to make my glass. I wish there was a better way you could just buy glass. So for that, so I can make more some sushi. For Kim. Sophia, how are you doing? How do you, how are you feeling after the little thing that happened yesterday? Giacomo used to insist on doing Chrismica, and he would always get Parker to help him cut down the best pine tree and drag it home. It would fill our whole living room. Oh? I never thought I would miss it and the sap that got everywhere. Oh. But I do. Oh. Their little stories are just so wholesome. Oh, I forgot we had a cutscene with Sof with Lena. Did we get a new story? Lena is the high priestess of Fairhaven Coven. A responsibility she take takes very seriously. She studied she studied magic ever since she was a child. And her father's guidance, mixed with her steady determination to the, the to be the best, has made her one of the most capable witches in Fairhaven has ever seen. So I guess we don't have a new little bio for her yet. Hopefully soon. I know, it's so heartbreaking. We haven't talked to... Who have we talked to lately? We haven't talked to Cameron as much, Bruno as much. The kiddos. Where? I know, actually, Juliet. She must be feeling something. Also, Sammy, welcome in. It's good seeing you today. What is this? What? Where's Vanessa? Oh, um. Okay. Um, no, this game is called um, Wildflowers. It's a very cozy, comfy indie game that I think you would definitely love. It has like fishing, farming, foraging, mining, crafting, which which witchcraft basically. It's completely voice acted. It's on Steam, Switch, and Apple Arcade. Um, but your whole goal is to kind of bring peace and harmony back to Fairhaven. It's really, really fun. It's almost two years old. Um, it will be two years old in September of this year. So it came out two years ago in September. And it's been really, really fun. Um, your foot was fully asleep and you couldn't feel it at all. You stood up and you couldn't feel it and you twist your foot. And it hurts to put weight on it. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Jet. Ooh, this is not good. I hate when, like, my foot falls asleep. It's mainly due to me, like, sitting for so long and poor circulation. Um, Every Hanukkah, Mrs. Moretti gives a scalp, even though we're not Jewish. Who is Mrs. Moretti? And I know why, but I still do want go. Okay. But definitely take it easy, though. I always, like, for me, what I usually do if I don't have, like, feeling in my feet or my my whole leg, I just tap my leg a lot or move my, or tap my foot a lot to, like, get that circulation back a little bit. Um... I hope you feel better. I hope I get to be on the neighborhood watch when I grow up. No. I'll catch all the bad guys. Oh, really, Finn? Really? Juliet, how do you feel? Sometimes my hands feel like they're sparking with static electricity. 
I guess it's just because everyone's got their heat on blast since it's so cold out. Well, you know, there's another thing for that as well. You might be a witch. <laughs> but um, I've been playing this game for two years. I have all the VODs on YouTube. So if you wanted to watch them back at any point, you can. Um, and good luck on your interview, Tabiko. Good luck, good luck. I want to start a skateboard streaming channel one oh? of these days, but I've been crazy busy lately. With what? With what, Sebastian? Um, oh, you're already like this. It's so much fun. They have a demo on Steam if you want to try it out before thinking of buying it. Okay, what do we have here? You want lime, which we have. We have oil for Kai. Oh, Angus, I have some things for you. Oh, you're almost completely done with this game. You've been enjoying it so far. One of your favorite cozy games for sure. Same. I think I'm almost done, but I feel like I'm not even there yet because I'm still in year one. Look at you. You made all my dreams crumb true. <laughs> no. No, Angus, no. Not today. Not today. Not with those puns. Not on my watch. <laughs> not on my watch. No, no, no. Are you going to get ready for your anatomy class? All good, all good. We'll see you next time, friend. Um, oh. Ah, my nice pea coat is all moth-eaten. The only coat the moths didn't get is a knee-length white puffer. No. Oh. And I'm not about to walk around looking like a wad of tissues. But aren't you cold? Aren't you? Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> also, Sims Cacti, hello. Happy Wednesday. It's good seeing you on this fine, wonderful Wednesday. 69 degrees. Very nice because it's not too hot, not too cold, and it's also not that windy. And a part of me feels like I want to go take a walk today. You know, maybe I should do that. I took a walk yesterday, and I feel like I should take another one again today after stream. Hmm. Because I have nothing else to do after today besides, like, work on videos and stuff. But get some fresh air before it gets too cold. Um, oh, if I sell him more, I should probably unlock this last one. Uh, I'll do the ruby one. I'll do, like, three. That does not do much at all. Uh, I'll take some time to get the last one unlocked. Crumb true? Is that what he said? Yeah. Angus has the most corniest jokes ever, and I'm like, Angus, now is not the time. Now is not the time. I assume that's why Francis married Angus, for his corny jokes. But, you know, you do you. You have fun with that. <laughs> like, okay... 10 degrees Celsius and wind here today. Is that bad? What is that in Fahrenheit? Nothing down here to collect yet. Back upstairs. I could just speed through the time. I'm gonna find my robot to see if they have any fish for me to grab. I can sell them. Um, your ad just got interrupted by another ad, Lord. BRB, you're gonna get some food. Good, good. Food is good. Love food here. All oh, this fish. Look at that. That's so wonderful. I'll give you back that because you can use more of that. Oh, are you done? Miney, are you done? Oh, I, I guess you are done. 14, you think? Oh, that is cold. I rather, ooh. Mm. I prefer where it's not too cold and not too hot. I need simple weather, where I don't feel like I'm like going <laughs> you crazy. Like that, didn't you, kitty? Yay! Tuna, milk, and salmon. Now we know Katarina's all his favorite foods. Ah, uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat for food today. I haven't really decided. I am making muffins later today, so that's something I could definitely do. Oh, did I not have... Oh, was all your gems done? 
Oh, I'll give you some more. Hey, Mike. There you go, money. Have fun mining over there. So in the meantime, I will make my fish sticks to earn my money back. But welcome back from the ads. We've got an ad though, friends. Um, what was I saying earlier? I don't know what I was saying earlier. But yeah, Sim Cafe. That's cold. I hope you have a good giant coat nearby, so that way you don't feel too, too like too cold. Cold. Wrap yourself in that blanket and call it a day. Take that nap if you need to. When it's usually cold, I drink a lot of tea. Or I'm going to sit on the couch, curl up in that blanket, and fall out. And then I'll wake up at 2 a.m. thinking, what time is it? <laughs> uh, but welcome back, Sammy. Yeah, welcome back, Umbelka. Welcome back. I don't want any more flour, Lena. Oh, hey, Kai. I have olive oil for you. There you go. Bra, there's no other way to say it. You crushed this, like smoked it. Ho ho ho, mahalo. Mahalo. Okay. You. You have any coconuts? You do not have any coconuts whatsoever. Hi, please. I just need one coconut to heal all of my animals at once. That's all I really need. <sighs> but Sophia, I have fish sticks for you. Give me all my money. Whoa. I have 16,000. I have 16.4 thousand coins. I'm rich. I'm rich. Juliet, what are you doing? Why, why are you walking in the woods? You want some orange juice? I have some orange juice. That's um nice of you, but I ate a lot at my mom's place earlier. Thanks anyway. How does one eat orange juice? Um, kiddos, what are you doing here? This place is not safe for for you. Do you like grape juice? I made some grape juice for you. Oh, sure, kids. Sure, I'll take that. Finn and I are having a growth spurt. And I get so hungry. I mean, who doesn't? Wait, that's not your favorite food? Like, do I even know? You even have a favorite food that I can... Oh, you do. Supposedly, I'm thinking that they love milkshakes. And then two other things. I need a cat so I can name it uh, Cleopatra. Like, Cleopatra. Yup. <laughs> and I think that's why they named um, the cat in this game that. Because at first, it was just called Cat. I'm like, oh, okay. Nice to know. <laughs> I would love some type of pet one day i think when i'm like less busy i say it all the time like i'm busy all the time and i'm traveling to different places i'm just waiting for the summertime so that way i can chill more summertime is the best time for me i don't go anywhere i don't do much and tax season is over for me i'm like once tax season is over i can breathe and i, I feel less stressed out because taxes are scary. Very overwhelming. Wait, is Bruno open today? No, he's open tomorrow. I need to buy more bait. Finally. Okay. Got that. Because I only had two worms for my little fishy. Fishy robot named Fishy. Okay, I've got my money's worth. I can spend all the money I want on Parker for my new greenhouse when I make all of my glass. But we are first and foremost gonna change the season right here, right now. Cause everyone is here and it's time. Time to change the season. It's done, it's done. The incantation is done. Go on then, read it. Or soon enough it will be. This icy charm I shall undo, undo and thaw all the stones, stones to let us through. through. <laughs> Perfect. I'm basically magical. Thank you, novice. Now we can proceed. Novice, herbalist, 
You'll come with me. <laughs> yes. Let's go. I want to fight. The rest of you stay behind in case Vanessa comes back this way. Oh, we'll be ready. I hope this. Oh, works. she was trapped in there. That's why she wasn't at the school. But how did the kids learn? <gasps> Apple pie. Oh, nice. Look for Vanessa past the third glowing pillar. Nice. So I'm like, basically, I am magical. I still get trapped in. Lovely. Vanessa, Vanessa, come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, Vanessa Hudgens, where are you? Ooh. What's down this way? We don't know. We passed it before, but the forest field seems too strong to break on our own. The three of us together should be able to do it. Ooh. Let's do it now. Oh, that's fancy. Whoa. No wonder you're the high priestess. Ooh. Wee. Oh, another flower. This one gives us more information about Violet's mom. Violet, look. I just saw a dark wraith, the most powerful one I've ever seen in the gloaming. I can't let it escape into Fairhaven. Gloria, what are you doing in this part of the gloaming all alone? Who's that? It sounded like... Dad? Marcus, <gasps> I have to cast a glamour over the heart of the wellspring to protect Violet. Gloria, come back with me right now. I can't. You don't... Marcus, look out! It's right behind you! Ah! Dad! Let go of them! I've got you! Now I bind you, Wraith! No man shall you scathe! Mom! Are you two okay? Dad didn't just suddenly lose his memory. Oh, he was attacked by my a god. Mom tried to fight it off. She didn't just leave me. She was trying to save Marcus. We've got to keep it together, Violet. Vanessa <laughs> is still in here somewhere. Juliet could be in grave danger. This just gets better and better every time. I love this game. Yeah, Vanessa Hudgens is pregnant. That's so cool. One. Use the rest of your magic to break it open. One more. I could replenish the well. Ooh. Well, that won't give me anything. I don't have my magic with me. This is only boosts my energy, but not my magical energy. I wish it did. Ooh, there better be a wellspring somewhere. It's not in here, but it's in the other part of the gloaming, which I hate. Okay, I have to go back. This is getting very intense and I'm loving it more and more. Oh, I need these wool weeds anyway. This game gets better and better every time. The more I play, the more I'm like, I'm shocked. Okay. One. The lore. The lore. Where is thy wellspring? Where are you? Where are you? Can't go this way. Because I will literally be trapped. I'm all out of I could replenish the wells. Oh my oh wait. The wellspring got home. Duh. This is gets better and better. I'm loving this game. This game is just so good. It's what Yo. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna put my little forget-me-nots in here. I'm gonna go and put my primrose. This one. Okay. Got my magic again. We are wasting no time. Vanessa, we're gonna capture you until it's- until you will be- We'll capture you and do something else. I don't know. Confront you. <laughs> With our magic. Okay. There we go. Vanessa? Oh? Vanessa, stop! I've been forced to siphon paltry bits of magic from the wellspring for too long. Now I finally found its heart. You're the one who's been causing the imbalance. That's why the wraiths broke free. I had really hoped that the trials would have snared one of you, but the wrong people kept getting accused. Well, yeah. it was a useful distraction at least. Vanessa, that's not the heart of the wellspring. It's something else. You're lying, Lena. Just like your father. 
He said I could never be part of the coven. Cause you're crazy. Fine. Now I'll be more powerful than any of you. Whoa! tried to prevent me from escaping the gloaming. Now I am bonded with this dark sorceress. So long as this coven stands, you'll never reach the heart of the gloaming, Wraith. As you wish. I know how to destroy you once and for all. Not on my watch. And I won't even have to do it myself. Is she... No, she's alive, but she's under a powerful enchantment. Stay and help Violet, Terra. You may be able to wake her with a strong enough potion. Myself and the rest of the coven have to go Reviving. find Vanessa before she wreaks havoc in the town. Violet, I'll be back with the potion as soon as I can. Hurry. Oh, wow. This just gets better and better. A reviving potion? A potion to use to wake someone from a deep sleep. Oh. You would trust the makers of this game to create a, an in interesting drama TV show? So, while this game is so has so much surprises and drama, I know. The more I play, the more I'm like shocked. I want them to make another game or some type of like... I don't know. I want them to make everything. Audio drama, podcasts. TV shows. They could turn this whole like thing into like an animation TV show. They got the voice acting part stuff down. They could turn all this into like, an like it just gets better. Francis, what's up? Where is everyone? Vanessa came through the portal, but the binding spell Amira tried didn't work. Oh, that's because it's a strong dark wraith bonded with a powerful witch. The incantation we used on civilians probably won't cut it. Great! Lena and the others followed her into town, and they told uh, me to keep watch. Whoa! I could use your help. We found Gloria, but I, I need a potion to revive her. I'm going to get most of the ingredients through the other portals in the gloaming, but I need some pearl dust. Can you get that for me? Right away. You really found Gloria? This day just keeps getting crazier. Yeah! Crazier and crazier. So what do I even need for the reviving potion? I have literally no clue. So go down here. Oh, I just need, I literally just need pearl dust. That's the only thing I need. <laughs> I have everything else. I'm really glad I went to the other part of the gloaming to get the wool weed. So now I just have to follow, follow um, Francis. Fabio asked if he could come visit. Who, Fabio? I think he wants to see the Wellspring for himself. I'm sure he wants to see you too, Francis. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that yet. Okay. Well, this is just getting shocking. This is shocking. How do I get my pearl dust? I want it now. Well, in order to make pearl dust, I think I can make it myself. Since Francis is just sitting there. I have no pearls. That means we have to wait until tomorrow morning. Oh, hello, Angus. You know your husband's a, a witch. Juliet? Bored? Nothing. Okay. That's a lot to take in. All in, like, one sitting. Here I thought we would have had, like, a nice, cozy, simple time. But the game just kept, no, boom. Boom, one at the other. One after the other just gets more and more shocking. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Oh, our robot. This is miny. No fishy. Fishy. Thank you, fishy, for the fish. And I think I have all the things I need to make more fish sticks. Got 
Oh, I have no flower. Okay, so in the meantime, I shall just wait then. I have all this fish. So much fish. I should probably like cool it with making the fish sticks now that I'm like a little bit more richer. So now we just wait for Francis. Is it time for bed? Yes. <sighs> wow. Wow, 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 we wow, wow. But it's Saturday. Hi, Kim. Fishy, I have nothing for you. Fishy, what do you want? I don't have any bait for you either. Sadly enough. I'll go buy some more from Bruno. Oh, my field's being built. Oh. Oh, this is so huge. Wow. So much room. More room to walk around. We'll have that done very soon. We'll go all the way back down to Francis's shop, which he should be open today. He is. Last day to be open. Thank goodness. Hey, Francis, you got some pearl? Pearls. Is this enough? Yes. Yes. Okay, bye. I'm going home. I'm going home. We're gonna get Gloria awaken. Oh, awaken Gloria, please. We will make our incantation. We will run all the way or fly. I don't know we could run. Running would be easier. Well, flying would also be easier, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. Okay, we'll make some more of this. Eight hours. Luckily, what is that? Eight hours to make. So in the meantime, Oh, instant brew powder. This powder is any... Wait, to add this powder to anything brewing that when you speed up. Essence of joy, which we don't even have. Wow. And we need... <laughs> we need a fish from the gloaming to do that. Well, that's going to be fun. In the meantime, we can make another incantation. We will do the... There's that speed time one. Mm, yes. Yeah, I do. Um, I have a VOD channel and I have played through Spirit Fair because that is rough. I don't know if I need to look it up on your VOD or not. Yeah, I have a dedicated playlist. I should at least have a dedicated playlist for Spirit Fair. Oh, I do. It's been a while since I've last played. I think about maybe two years. Since I last played Spirit Fairer. Yeah. Whoa, oh, wow. Oh, wait, no, it's not been two years. It's been four years since I've played this game. But I did not complete it until, uh, like, 2022. But it's a, another fun game that I really loved playing through. And I kind of want to play it again, but I don't know. Reaped, brewed, molded, spun. Faster will this work be done? Cause that game took a long time to play. Oh. Um, but it was a, a really, really good fun, fun one. I think alongside playing through um, Last Day of June was another fun one that I really loved playing. And then, what was the other one? Maybe it was just that one that I really loved playing through. Hmm. I guess so. I do need to categorize more of my um, streams. It's a little bit out of order on the VOD channel right now because I haven't done much organization because I got so many. I didn't realize I had over like a thousand videos on there. I'm like, oof. Okay. Parker's dealing with that. We're going to ignore this rain thing from Wesley. And now it's time to go all the way down. Oh, Kim. What's up? I got you a little something, babe. Oh. Here you go. Is it a chicken filet? How nice. <laughs> I will say when you continue to like find someone to marry in this game, they'll give you gifts based off of their profession. Kim gives me meat. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. 
So we're going to wake up Gloria now. And that will be good. And then we'll finally uncover more things. And maybe, maybe this time we'll have a chance to turn the seasons from winter to spring. At least I would hope so. If Lena stopped saying things. Okay, we have the potion we need. I'm a deep sleep. I wonder if this will happen again. Oh, that was a lot of our magic. My goodness. That's for magic. That's fine. And now, Violet, I've got the potion. I'm ready to revive your mom. She still hasn't moved. But I think she's breathing. You think? Here. Here, take this. Revive your mother. Nothing's happening. Maybe she just was in here too long. Oh. I'm sorry I didn't find you sooner, Mom. Wait. Don't give up yet. We've already done everything we could do. <laughs> Whoa. <coughs> Mom? <gasps> It worked! Mommy, Violet, <sighs> but... It can't be. You're so grown. How long have I been in here? Four years. Four oh, years? And Bastian? He's doing okay. I've been <gasps> taking care of him. Oh, my poor babies. I'm so sorry. I couldn't let the Wraith travel deeper into the gloaming. Marcus, myself, and Giacomo had already banished it from the island once, but it returned more determined than ever to reach the heart of the Wellspring. And now it has Vanessa. What? Oh, Mom. Oh. This is my friend Tara. She's Hazel's granddaughter. Also, it turns out Vanessa was a witch this whole time. You know, the Wraith is bonded to a witch? This is dire. I should go help the others. Go on ahead of us. I need to help my mom out of here. You know, a part of me felt like, oh, what's this? Oh, Max restored po magic potion. Well, that's wonderful. I always like felt it deep in my soul when I first played this game and like interacting with the characters bit by bit. I always felt Vanessa had something about her that I was like, I was like sketch of. Because if you don't know this, at the beginning of the game, um, what happens is Mayor Otto, Soth, has this like little challenge for you to do is by introducing yourself to all of the residents of Fairhaven. And they have to report back to him. And I'm like, I'm an introvert. I don't want to talk to folks. That's scary. So it's a little bit spooky spook. Find Vanessa in Fairhaven. Oh, easy. He's probably at that school. But success. Violet's mom is now awake and with us. And hopefully she'll be walking around Fairhaven. Because once we change the season, there should be a new character that arrives. We're supposed to get a hairstylist at some point. But I think we have to do something in order to like open that up. Also, Captain Carly, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spring Squad. It is good seeing you today. Oh, Vanessa, where are you? Oh, Vanessa. Where you at? Where you be? Ooh, it's getting very gloomy over here. Also, Gnome Finder, hello. Welcome in. You've been wanting to play it. This is so bad. It looks so cute. You should. I... Every time I play it, or don't play it, I recommend this game to anyone. Literally anyone. Oh? Be gone, you... you demon! How dare you take the shape of my wife! Oh, now he this cares? This is your wife, you idiot! You have to calm yourself, Vanessa. Your malcontent energy is too strong. She's not a malcontent, my dude. She's a witch. <laughs> Show me to the walk. Tara, you got here just in time. Oh, wow. 
I'm only I mainly play this game on stream, but I'm thinking of like making my own little save Natalia, play by myself. You're right. There are witches in town. You ah. just kept accusing the wrong people. I knew it. I knew something weird was happening. Angus. <laughs> the person you should put on trial for being a witch is right there. Lena, the head of the coven. Oh, wait, we wiped Parker's memory again. Oh, no. But no, I want to definitely like make a, a new save for myself personally, because I really love this game. But I also want to see what it's like to marry somebody different. Because right now we're married to Kim. And things are about to get a little bit crazy. Ooh. Don't listen to her. She's possessed by a wraith. Wraith. Let Vanessa go. She doesn't want me to let her go. She's finally achieved her goal. Power over a coven that refused to let her in. Well, you're she whack. Wasn't from an established bloodline of witches. I don't know how much longer we can keep this up, Lena. <laughs> you don't need to. The coven will submit to me as the new high priestess. What? You have until sundown. I'm sorry, what? What are we gonna do? <laughs> to cast out a genie that powerful, we need more time. Ah, now there's an idea. In this place, I will pause time. The moment that I speak my rhyme. <gasps> That's a dirty trick. But the incantation will wear off eventually. Shelby, the spell only affects this part of Fairhaven, right? If I go get supplies for my farm, time will start moving for me. How am I supposed to make the banishment incantation? You can use the desk in my store. Would that help? I'll run to the bar for supplies. The non-alcoholic kind. Promise. Oh, thank goodness. But I should, Wesley though. Wesley gave me the parchment, I but really I still should. need fennel seed powder and a few of Vanessa's personal items. Amira may have some fennel seed powder in her clinic. And as for the personal items, why don't you try talking to the people Vanessa knows best? In the meantime, we'll like keep who? an eye on Wraithy McRae face. Come speak Her to Wraithy me when you're face, I'm dead. That's funny. Um, oh, <laughs> wow. Um, but no, I've been playing... I want to definitely play this game more, especially for our personal save, because right now I personally have have three personal sim save files, and then I have one personal Boulder's Gate save file that I play by myself. It's so good. It hits different though when you're playing like your own save when no one's looking. Oh, I thought I could go into our house. Oh. Oh, I can't go this way. Oh. Oh, can we thank him like hello? So we need to personal item of Vanessa. Find some personal item to Vanessa. It's a cantation. And then another personal one. We'll ask her husband. Mayor Otto Soft. Otto Soft is shady. Don't trust him. Otto? My wife is a witch. I know, buddy. It's a lot to take in. My <laughs> wife is a witch. Okay, and I can see you're still processing. Mm -hmm. But I need your help. Do you have anything on you that's important to Vanessa? Uh, I can take this ring off now. Have that. Ah. I guess this means she doesn't need me <laughs> anymore. I'm sure she still cares for you, Otto. But she never told me that she was a witch. A witch. Well then, um, so I guess they got divorced. That's not good. Um, well, let's talk to Kim because we're married to Kim. Kim, where'd you go? Cam, Cam, where are you? The love of my life, where are you? Juliet, hi. Oh, hi, Kim. Hey. I wish I had some of Vanessa's stuff. That woman has good taste in jumpsuits. But no, sorry, Tara. Are you now? 
Mm-hmm. Mad at me for being a witch, babe. I love you even more now that I know you're a witch. Oh. I'm just sorry you felt that you had to hide it for so long. Okay. They are not mad. That is good enough for me. <laughs> I was concerned. Um, you're beyond obsessed with this game a bit further ahead of you, but seeing someone else go through makes me so happy that I had the same reaction. Isn't it just crazy? Like, I had my suspicions, uh, Crystal, about this game. Well, for certain characters. I knew I could never trust the mayor because he was shady from the beginning. Having me introduce myself to, like, all the people in Fairhaven, that's crazy. Um... I knew Vanessa was up to something because, like, she gave off that energy. And then I didn't really knew about Juliet being a witch, but I'm like, okay, that's new. But then also, like, finding out each and every person about what their agenda was, I was quite shocked. But finding out Lena not only got married to Parker, which is great, but lied to him about, you know, the whole witchy thing. And then wiped his memory, not once, but twice. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Anything of Vanessa's? I made her a beautiful oak dining table, but that's inside the mayor's mansion. Besides, I want to stay out of this. I'm still thinking everything over. Oh, I hope you don't get divorced. Vanessa never comes to my forge, so nope, nothing of hers here. Wait, before you go. Vanessa is possessed by a wraith, right? Is yeah. It possible that happened to me too? Yeah, I think that uh, it's definitely possible. Oh, I gotta sit down and think about that. Oh, it's just so shocking. You don't really have anything. She doesn't come to you anyway. Uh, another personal item would probably be Violet, maybe, because of the flowers. Violet? Where's your mom? I got her out of the gloaming, and she told me to run ahead and help. I really hated to leave her back there, but... Whoa. This is definitely an all-hands-on-deck kind of moment. Do you have anything of Vanessa's I can use for the incantation? Flowers? Just a bill for floral arrangements that she hasn't paid yet? Oh, well, I'm like, that'd be nice. Just wait until you get further. You got two of your best friends addicted, and they're learning and venting to you. I love that. Because I'm still only in year one of winter, so... I'm still like waiting for the moment where I can like turn the season because I have like all the proper stuff. So I'm like, okay, what's next? When can we do it? But this is just like, I'm just shocked and appalled. Uh, you want what? Sorry, I'm having a hard time thinking straight. It's been kind of the weirdest day of my life. Uh, did you say you need some paper? Uh, here. Yeah. Oh, I have regular paper. That's good. Thank you. That's how your mom became such a good cook. Ooh. She was a witch. Nah, Sophia. She's oh. just naturally talented like you. Second summer. Sorry to interrupt, but do either of you have something that belonged to Vanessa? No. We weren't close. And now, we never will be. That piece of... It's what? okay, Sophia. Juliet is safe. I don't have any leads either. Good luck, though. Oh, wow. She did not finish that sentence. Yikes. What these I haven't because I think there's another festival that I still haven't seen yet. I would have thought there would well, be a winter grind festival. Me and stick me in a barrel. I knew she was strange, but a witch? Oh. Are you talking about me or Vanessa? Vanessa, of course. You're Hazel's granddaughter, so ah oh, jeez, Hazel was a witch too. <laughs> wasn't she? <laughs> yeah. Well <sighs> she and you have never been anything but sweet to me. Always I might need some squid. Is it for a spell? Uh, it totally is not. No, no, not even a little bit. Uh, you can't fool me. If you need it, must be important. Huh. Maybe there's a new market that Bruno's bait and tackle can serve. Maybe. <laughs> Bruno's such a weird, funny guy, but you gotta love him either way. There's nobody else. Oh, Sebastian's over here. I mean, everything on the teacher's desk belongs to her. How am I supposed to get in? I guess it's locked. Oh! No problem. Take this. Wait, how did you get this? Juliet and I wanted to see the solutions for a math test. What? So when Vanessa dropped her spare key... Yeah. Wow. Okay. 
Just don't tell Violet, please. <laughs> Your mother gonna find out very soon. Just when you thought these kids weren't that that interesting, they are. Finn and and uh um the two kids, Finn and Emmy, be talking about their parents' business all the time. I talked to them one time to talk to Finn, and he said mommy and daddy are having another discussion. And I'm like, oh my gosh. These kids will talk about anything. I'm not surprised. They are very nosy. These don't look like her usual style. Shelby will know if they're important to her. I'll take them. Her gloves. <laughs> but you gotta love them either way. Oh, hey, Finn. What's up? If I had anything that belonged to Mrs. Saw, I'd be in so much trouble. Really? She has lots of pens and scissors on her desk at school. I guess those belong to her. Maybe, or she stole them. I don't have anything of Mrs. Soft stuff. She's my teacher. That'd be weird. She has plenty of my stuff, though. That she con confisc- Oh, taken. She keeps it all on her desk. Mm -hmm. You should check there. Confiscated, yeah. That word. Sometimes big words are a lot. <laughs> uh yeah, who did you marry for anyone who's uh, played this game all the way through or just like add to the point of marriage? I'm married to Kim, the love of my life. I love Kim more than anything. Kim brings me joy. I want to talk to you again. And I forgot. Oh, Shelby. Have you got anything of Vanessa's for me to read? Yes. yes. This is a ring Vanessa gave Otto. Well then. Yeah. Divorce. Uh... You've been trying to get into the stone circle for a long, long time, haven't you? Years and years longer, and we realized... How old is Vanessa? ...approaching you in the woods. He looks like he is Otto. But this is the first time seeing him, isn't it? And you slip in the ring as soon as you figure out what kind of person he is. You start courting him, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know you were the masked figure in the woods. <gasps> Why was she leading a double life this whole time? What? Because what she wanted and what Otto wanted were the same. Power in Fairhaven. Whoa, Wiley. Vanessa doesn't have the far sight, but stars above. Mm. She plans like she does. Well done, novice. Oh my gosh. This ring holds many echoes of Vanessa. Oh. Oh, the doctor? What does um, Amir give you? Because Kim gives me, like, meat from the shop that they run. Does, Van does Amir give you medicine? <laughs> I have these gloves. I got the sense that they're important to her. We'll find out. Hmm. You didn't start out as gloves, did you? You were a sweater. A sweater for a much littler Vanessa. Wow. Oh. I didn't think Vanessa was sentimental like that. You Not really. You put on the sweater because it was cold and you wanted to go back to the place you found while out adventuring. <sighs> the Stone Circle. Barsir, what happened? When she was a girl, she came to Fairhaven one summer. She mm. went out exploring and found the stone circle, but she couldn't get in because she met someone protecting it. Marcus drove her off. She oh. never forgot. She's been trying to break in since she was a kid. Oh my goodness. Holy. And when she outgrew the sweater she was wearing that day, she unpicked the yarn, had it made into gloves. The gloves sound perfect for the incantation then. You couldn't have found better. Mm. If you've got all the supplies, Best get to making that incantation. I won't waste any time. You okay. can't waste time when it's frozen. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Medicine and Pacific herbs or plants. Oh, that's good. I like that. They all have like their own little special little quirks. Things that they give you. I always thought like... I wish I could marry Violet because Violet was my first choice in this game. But when I found out you couldn't romance Violet because I didn't know how the game actually worked, I was like, okay, that's fine. That's okay. 
I will deal with that later. But then I was like, I wonder what it'd be like if you married Wesley or um, Cameron or Damon. What all what would they all give you? I can't believe there's a wedding ring. They got divorced. They said divorce, babe, divorce. At least we can now use um Francis's uh writing desk now, which is good. Okay, we got the incantation. So now all we gotta do is um use it. I know. I hope the one day, like if they have made something on social media about if they could make another game. What would it be about? There's one more part to all of this, Tara. What? Something I didn't want to mention in front of the others because, well, I don't know if I believe this myself. You're making me nervous. To contain Vanessa's wraith, we need something particularly powerful. What? Do you know the story about the base of the Molly and Peggy doll statue? No, I do not. You're happy you waited. I think I'm going to romance a new character. Ooh. Oh, they're romanceable? Oh, that's good. There's supposedly something hidden in there, right? Yes. I want to see. It. But you're not sure if it's true? There are plenty of legends about Molly and Peggy. Most of them aren't true. But Probably doing my new save. We can get, so I figure before you make the banishment incantation, can you check the statue? Sure. Yeah. Will I need anything special? A lockpick incantation wouldn't be a bad idea. And if you don't have the ingredients for one, ask around. Okay, I think I already have one. Yeah, I think I'll definitely for sure make a new save for like for me personally. So I can explore what it's like to, to interact with the other characters, but also marry the different characters. So I know if you don't marry Kim or Amira, they end up together anyway. Um... But it's always tied between Wesley or now the new character. Huh. I should come back when I do have one. Oh, I don't have one? I thought I always had one on hand. Yes, I don't. And I should have all the ingredients for the lockpick incantation. Let's see. Do, 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 do. And I do have all the ingredients, so I'm going to make one. You think if I start a new save, you marry Amir again, honestly? Because, like, what you're saying, because, like, medicine, uh, herbs, and plants. Like, that's some good stuff, because you'll need some herbs for certain things, plants for certain things. So that's, uh, yeah. I mean, it just, like, it does all seem like a good choice, for sure. Oh, I have no magic, that's why. Well, I just need a little smidgy of magic. Don't want to drink that. There we go. Make the lockpick incantation. And there we go. Hmm. There's another game that I want to definitely try and play all the way straight through. But I can't remember what game it is. Hold on. It's on Steam. Oh my gosh, what in the world is Wobbly Life? Because I have all these games on my Steam library that I have not played all the way straight through. Oh, it's a Garden Story. Garden Story is one game I want to definitely go all the way through and complete alongside with, um, what was that other game that I had on here? That was a cozy indie game. It might have just been Garden Story that I wanted to go all the way through. And also probably Core Island as much as I could. You were going to go for Wesley, but you have new character. Because you can change her. You can change Tara's hair, which is very nice. I did like that they added that into the game. Because I always was saying, like, I wonder if there's a way you could change your hairstyle or change your clothing. And now you can. So it's like a little win-win scenario. You married Amira, but I get jelly when Kim or Piri talk about my wife. Mm. Here is me. Time may be frozen, but the spell will wear off eventually. Oh wait, I need to go do the incantation on the statue. I I am not joking. When I saw Piri appear with like Wesley and Zephyr and uh, Ariel in the little stone circle, they said they wanted to unalive Wesley for for um not for lying, but like for helping Vanessa with stuff. I'm like, 
Oh my goodness. That's messy. This is not the Salem Witch Trials. Time to see if this legend is the real deal. There was a secret. Two could keep it. But now I cast this charm to seek it. Oh. Oh, Cheddar Biscuits. <laughs> cheddar There's something biscuits. in here. Cheddar Biscuits. I was only doing this to put Lena's mind at ease. I didn't think the locket was real. Well, this is good. They are super mean. I'm not really good friends with Kiri at all. I think we're only like maybe not acquaintances, but we are. She's just a villager. That's literally it. <laughs> I don't really talk. I don't go to Ravenwood Hollow that much or Ravenwood. Yeah. Ravenwood Hollow that often as I should. Oh, and Gloria. Ah, how cool. 51, a powerful witch. Recently discovered to be alive years after mysteriously vanishing in the gloaming. Before her disappearance, she led a double life. Oh, as both the First Lady of Fairhaven, her husband Antonio was the mayor and was a powerful witch. After Gloria tried to stop the powerful Rafe, she was trapped in the gloaming for years. Now that you've helped her, helped free her, she has reunited with her children, Violet and Sebastian. That's really cute. <laughs> Technically, it was a witch trials. You do have a point. It's the, I would call it the more wholesome witch trials. <laughs> the more wholesome ones. It's have. real. Oh my. I didn't think I'd really be able to lay eyes on this. Our chances of beating that wraith seem pretty good, Lena. I'd like to think so, but remember, it kept Gloria stuck in the gloaming for years. Yes. Do you have everything we need for the banishment? Yes, I do. Shatter biscuits. Yes, let's try this. Ready? Here we go. Hee. <laughs> oh, look at little Francis. Don't even try. You see, you never had the power to defeat me, and now you have no power at all. The wellspring is mine. <laughs> Submit. Never. Get away from my house! And I'm replacing all the flowers you ripped out, you hear me? Ooh. <gasps> Wait. What? It's acting like... A, a mood ring. No, like the Coven Cauldron. Lena, was this fountain possibly built on top of... A font to the wellspring, of course! Whoa. And Vanessa must have figured it out. And that's why she manipulated Otto into running for mayor. <gasps> <laughs> he was a useful fool. But we don't need him anymore. Uh, Whoa! Well, that's just mean. We uh, need more offerings. Now I feel kind of bad about Otto. Oh no! Thomas, do you have anything I can offer the Wellspring? I wish I could help you, but what you've got in those woods aren't my gods. Um. <sighs> Here. Yeah. But only because we're friends, Tara. Thank you. Also, mighty, mighty, mighty shadows, welcome, welcome in. Long time no see. How have you been? How was your stream? What were you getting up to? Are you playing Wildflowers again by any chance? <laughs> but Chris and Izzy and Shano's welcome in, friends. If y'all don't know. Marty, well, I am. Do you have something I Sure! Why not? First witch trials, now throwing random things into a fountain. Just be real with me. Is this all some ela- No. Um, but if y'all don't know who I am, my name is Steven, also known as Spring Sims. Oh, there's an ad playing right now when you rate it? Messy. A few more seconds. Oh, wait. Luckily, you don't have to save in this game, which is nice, because it automatically saves while you play. Um, but welcome in Homer and Chris. And Izzy and Shannos. Welcome, 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 welcome in, friends. The ads are almost over a few more seconds. Um, this will actually be a great way to also prepare for the clip of the day very, very soon when we get a chance to do that. Oh, where is my thingamajigger? Okay. Yeah. I see a lot of things. Oh, wow. 
Okay. The ads are now over, friends. Hopefully you're all back now. But welcome in everyone from the raid from Mighty Shanos. But Chris, Izzy, Shanos, and Homer, welcome on in, everyone. My name is Steven, also known as Spring Sims. I play a lot of the Sims here. Mainly the Sims 4, but I do dabble into like other Sims games like Sims 2, Sims 3. A little bit of my Sims every once in a blue moon. Sims 1 once a year. And a lot of cozy indie gameplay today. And usually we play Wildflowers or Stardew Valley for our cozy indie games. But welcome in, though, Mighty Shanos. I hope your stream went really well today and you had a good time. Uh, were you playing Wildflowers or were you playing Sims or Minecraft or any of the other games out there, I assume? Otto, we still need help getting your wife down. We need to make offerings to the Wellspring. Whatever it takes. Here. Ooh. She gave this to me on our first anniversary. Oh. And she was my real Vanessa. Are Not you sure? Raven in the cloak and mask. She's still in there somewhere, right? Now, now, Otto, let's not be a little bit crazy. Let's not think that your wife is still there. She's a little bit gone. Parker, <laughs> I hope you know that I'm still your friend, even if I'm a witch. Tara, I'm still working through the fact that I falsely accused Giver while under some dark influence I don't understand. And now it's got Vanessa. Take this. Thank you. Oh, you're back. Oh, no, you're all good. You're all good. Welcome, welcome back. I don't know how the ads played in the middle of the raid i didn't start them twitch did and that was very rude of twitch um but welcome in welcome back it's good seeing you again i hope you had a very fun stream today or are you doing anything in particular by any chance were you playing wildflowers i assume i know ads can be rude sometimes which is kind of weird um but i'll introduce again izzy Enos, chris homer welcome in <laughs> um but we are, we're currently playing through Wildflowers, hey, and Natalia. it's we're getting friends, Tara, very, so very juicy. It. What Vanessa has inside her is overwhelming. I've felt it. We have to free her, whatever it takes. Uh huh. But this game is getting very, very juicier, Mi minute, like minute by minute. The drama, the chaos, the sussiness of each character. Like Vanessa, I knew she was crazy. Mayor Otto, I knew he was also the Lulu. I don't know how to Lulu. Oh, you have to come back here because when we play Wildflowers, I try. Oh, you try to like in raid friends who are also playing it. And you guys seem to be really enjoying it last week. Yeah, I've been playing this game since September of 2022 when the game first came out. So I've been a long time fan for this game. When I first saw it on Twitter, when they were announcing it, I knew I was going to be obsessed because I love fishing, I love foraging, I love farming simulator type games. But the fact that like it was all completely voice acted and it was very diverse with the characters and their backstories, what is what sold me on it. And since then I've been obsessed and I haven't even scratched the surface yet. I'm only in year one still, but of winter. Cameron! I know you'll think it's just superstition, but we need offerings for the Wellspring. You've always been so giving to me and mm. the League. Take this. It's my medal for reaching summit level on the Mountain of Conscience. Well, I didn't want to be very giving to you because you were very shady as well. But, you know, that's just me. That's just me. I need two more. And Kai. Kai, do you have an offering we can throw into the fountain? You're very free with your gifts, but... You should be careful what you offer the spirit of an island. Hi. Sometimes back home, we would offer this to Pele. Pele. Nice. A leaf. That was one of your all-time favorite games ever, and I will always say that. We're we're kind of witching in your community, so so a lot of us love this game. I was um I will say like this game has so much to offer. And I don't know if you saw this on social media or not, but they were saying that like if they could make another game, what would it be about? And I know some people would love to see another game based off of like another character in Fairhaven. I would too, but I would want to see like another character like um, maybe, maybe ta not Tara in our past life, but 
Grandma Hazel. I think that'd be really cool to see Hazel as like a young child, teenager or whatever, and discovering how she became the bee, her witchy magic, coming from the city all the way to Fairhaven. Everyone's younger. You know, the kids are just being born. Like, I want to see all of that. Sophia, you've always been a good friend to me, Tara. But Vanessa wasn't possessed when she took my daughter. Well, we'll still need to deal with her later. In the meantime, here. She was kind of possessed. They were all kind of crazy. Um. Oh, you saw that I kind of want them to uh, stay along with the witchy lines because they did it so well. They did. So maybe one about Grandma Hazel. Ooh, or her aunt. That's true. Like, there's so many things they could do with this. The more, the merrier, I always say. And someone else was saying in chat earlier that they could do, like, a whole TV show about it because all the drama, all the magic, just everything about all these different cutscenes are, like, a literal TV show. I'm here my whole life. Uh oh, it's happening. Oh. Tara, read the incantation. Right! Too long in this place, you have been a bane. Now in this locket, be forever chained. That's all you've got. It's still not enough. Whoa! Don't give up. Uh-oh. Um, who are those people? Um, you know, just Halloween. Tara, get the locket now. Capture it, Tara. That thing took my mom from me. We can't let it hurt anyone else. Ooh. I'll do it. I'm ready. Ooh. Oh, Vanessa, you have some explaining to do. Vanessa, darling, are you all right? Really? Are you there? Schnooker, you were really a witch this whole time? <clears throat> You've been lying to me? Welcome to the club. Uh, Messenger Cameron, what do we do? They're all malcontents. I, I have no idea. We can't banish all of them, can we? Just one. Once that fairy is fixed, Vanessa is never setting foot on this island ever again. I won't have her near my child or any of the island's other children. Agreed. Oh, Sophia, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was never going to hurt Juliet. I just needed to borrow her ability. I don't want to hear it. And it's her you need to apologize to. I'm sorry, Juliet. I betrayed your trust. But so did they. They've been um, lying to all of you for years. Don't put me in just that. Just so they could hoard the power of the Wellspring for themselves. Liar. We've protected it. And protected the whole island. At a cost you don't understand. Really? Enlighten me. Ooh. Gloria? It's giving 12 minutes it commentary, literally. Mommy? Oh, Bastian! Who is she? Uh, and who's the, the, the fairy and the guy with the backwards feet? None of this was in my farmer's manual. What on earth is going on? You know, We've go back home. longer than you, mortal. But now our task is done. You won't see us again. They just disappeared. Everyone saw that, right? <laughs> Everyone just settled down. We're still the same people we've always been. Still your friends and neighbors. And right now, another storm's coming. But what do we do about you malcontents? I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, Throw us a pizza party for, like, saving you? We would never have been in danger if you hadn't lied to us this whole time, Lena. Lena's no Whoa. more dangerous today than she was yesterday. And Shelby is right. You best get home before it really starts to come down. Come along to Town Hall, Mr. and Mrs. Soft. You can't take me into custody. I'm the mayor. In Not what world? Long. We need to return to the wheel. This town can't make it through many more blizzards. 
Oh my goodness. Also, Alex, thank you for the reason for eight months, by the way. No, I really do appreciate it so, so much. Can we get some Yeehaw Himbo hype in the chat? Please and thank you for that brand new resub. I hope you're doing really well today. Welcome on in. Um, this game's getting sketchy on so many levels. You know, I think we can we can definitely agree when Angus found out that his husband was a witch and then Parker said, welcome to the club. That was not needed at all. <laughs> I'm like, sir, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Also, Shanos, if you need to lurk, and you probably already left, but if you need to, like, of course, lurk and do your self-care, feel free if you need to. I do appreciate the raid again and saying your lovely community here. Um... I'm just too immersed into the story that I'm like shocked every single time a twist and turn just throws me aback. <laughs> Parker's too salty. He is. He's a bit petty. I was in tears. <laughs> it's like, it's the subtleness is like, you're a witch? And he just walks somebody. He's like, welcome to the club. I'm like, sir, keep your, your lips shut. The incantation with you, yes? I have. What was the object you needed to bring? A knife? Um, Lena, this day has already taken a dark enough turn, don't you think? The blade symbolizes the fire of the reborn sun. Read the incantation, novice. We turn the circle together as one and welcome the birth of a new spring sun. Farewell, embers of the waning year. Tonight, a new year dawns. Blessed be the light that unites us all. We say goodbye to the cold sun of winter Ooh. and welcome the warmth of spring. Oh, Gloria. How beautiful. Yay. I am exhausted. I want to stay and celebrate, but I think I just want to go home and rest. I want to go home and rest. Do you think this will actually change anything? Now that the town knows our secret. I don't know. I hope so. I'm tired. And I'm just playing the game. <laughs> I'll increase magic spell for the incantation. Like storms that make the river sing. Fill my magic from the spring. Oh, even better. <laughs> so out of pocket. Deb is here for the petty and I support her. <laughs> her love of the pettiness. <laughs> you would feel the same way if I found out my partner was a witch. You know, I would be shocked. You'd be like, why did you tell me? You could trust me. I'm here for you to support you all the way. But I'll, I will also feel betrayed. I'm like, oh, you didn't trust me enough. But I can understand. We should all be lucky to be in My Wife is a Witch Club. Mm hmm I do love that Tara literally saved the whole island and they still call her novice. I know. I'm like, I did all this work and for what? Let's be called novice? Ooh, now what we do? Oh, our field is not even done yet. It'll be done tomorrow. But at least we can now start growing more things outside. Because our uh, little farm was looking a little bit sparse there. I only have carrot seeds we can grow. <laughs> the disrespect. Oh, you were looking for a 12 minutes clip. Hmm. Mm. Is it time for bed? Yes. <sighs> time for bed. Turn the tide for a new day. Good old fashioned Sunday. And our field is now open. A new day, a new year. Hiya, Tara. How you doing? Oh, you've had it real rough. Gosh. <laughs> Yesterday, I wondered if it was possible to die from being too tired. Ah, well, I hate to ask this then, but the fairy is finally out of the ice. If you bring me a ruby, I'll use astral spectroscopy to tune its vibrational frequencies. Uh, my brain can't handle That's those a lot of... right now. Oh, yep, sorry. Okay, it's, uh, it's like this. Embed my customized ruby in the fairy hull, and it'll send out tendrils of magic to oh? repel the water. No human engineer needed. Okay. I'll work on it. Yeah. 
Also, what does Kim even want? Oh. Kim, what's this? What what's what's this? I had tonight penciled in as solo fishing time, but why don't we oh. hang out instead? Just oh. the two of us. Oh no. Is this a we should talk moment? <laughs> yeah, but not in a bad way. Oh. We should talk because I love talking to you. Oh, okay. Well, we barely got in time to decompress. See you at the lake after seven? It's a date. Oh, how lovely. We have a date with Kim later, but we'll do that next week on a, in a different stream, of course. But we now have this big gigantic field and now we don't have to feed our animals anymore. We just have to heal them from the little sickness that they have. Well, that was a lot to like take in, like a lot, a lot to take in. I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, yeah, we're going to watch those clips actually. I'm going to show both of them. Um, so those clips, so there was a game that we played about like two years, three years ago at this point called 12 minutes. That is not 12 minutes. This game is way longer. It took me like a couple of streams to get it done. It has William Defoe and like two other people in there that voice act in this game. It is ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, a very good gameplay today. I feel like this was very eventful. We got more money, our big field, bigger tool shed, secrets beyond everything. I cannot wait for Mayor Otto and Vanessa Soft to get out of this town. But who will be the mayor? Will I be the mayor? Imagine if Tara is the mayor, it'd be funny. Um, but let me show you both of these clips because they're very funny. Oh, nope. This one. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> um, alrighty. He's the monster. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, wait, I have something to tell you. My my husband, aka my brother, brother? he's, he's the, the killer. killer. <laughs> <laughs> she straight up said he's right there officer he's <laughs> literally <laughs> my brain's going to lulu this is a roller coaster of emotion he's the monster ah! straight i'm not joking she literally straight up said he's right there officer He's the killer. He killed my father. But in a way, one, that's your brother, aka your husband. The one that you're having. What made it more twistable crazy is because, one, this fool not only married his sister, but I'm thinking he like he lost his memory or whatever. I don't know. And then like married his sister because it came from two different moms. He was, he was mom, I think was like the maid or whatever. And her mom was somebody else. So two different moms, but same dad, they got married. He didn't tell her at all. She was pregnant. Well, she is pregnant with his baby. All this time, all this time, we go through these little different little scenarios, these weird little flashbacks. We find out that she's also our sister. We tell her that we have the same father. She freaks out. He comes to the door and says, hello. And then she says, he's right there. He killed my father. He's the killer. Yeah. So. Sweet home, Alabama. The other clip explains it. Oh, oh it does. This is better. <laughs> oh, here it is. Say you killed her father. Tell her you are her brother. This is better. I'm your brother. How does that make you feel? <laughs> your name from your father's affair. Oh gosh. Her name was Dahlia. She was my mother. <clears throat> your dad found me after your mother passed. It's me. I'm your brother. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I need to go back. That's funny. Oh 
hold on. I'm gonna go all the way back. <laughs> Your name from your father's affair. Oh gosh. Her name was Dahlia. She was my mother. <laughs> your dad found me after your mother passed. It's me. I'm your brother. What are you saying? It was you? You killed him? And then your mother okay. made me be sick. I Is that show she's worried about? After all I'm your brother. What I find so wild, she's more concerned about the father dying because he did it, but not the brother part. That's what threw me in a loop. That's what threw me in a loop. I'm like, you are concerned that he killed your father, but like, he's your brother that you're having a baby with. Like, messed up. But no, I need to play that game again, though. It's very, very... It's a fun game, but it's a crazy game at the same time. But I need to play it again, though. It's <laughs> it's like, I'm your brother, and we're having a baby together. Like, no, thank you. Get out of here, you weirdo. I think I was very stressed out. Yeah, that's true. You literally mar married to and having a baby with your brother. Yeah, that's like, um, what? How long did it take me? One, two. It looked like, yeah, it looks like it only took me two streams to do. Yeah, it only took me two streams to play this game. In a span of a month. Wow. That's messed up. That's messed up. Like, it goes from being, you know, confusing, trying to figure out what's happening, what's going on. And then it's like, oh, oh, now I see. Now I understand the dilemma. Now I understand the drama that is this game. <laughs> However, William Defoe is very talented. I forget who else played in the, the game. I'm pretty sure it was William Defoe. And then, who else? Oh, Daisy Ridley, and then James Mc Mc wait Mc McAvoy. Yeah, James McAvoy, Daisy Diz Daisy Ridley, and William Defoe. Three people played this game, or three people voice acted in this game. Top down view. <sighs> you don't know what to expect. It's crazy. It's weird. It's wild. But friends, I would love to go send some love, hype, and positivity over to a good friend of mine that is playing a nice, simple, wholesome game. And I would actually go send some love over to my good friend, Rosanna, who I never get to rate literally at all. Um, but we've rated Rosanna before in the past, usually on like random Wednesdays. But uh, Rosanna is a simmer, productivity, wonderful guru, I, I would say. And it's just a lovable human. Never got to meet Rosanna. Actually, no, I did. I met Rosanna at TwitchCon last year. I did. I did. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me, though, today. I was expecting this stream to be, like, simple and chill. No chaos of any kind. But then the game threw me out of loop. And now I must rest my brain because that was a lot. <laughs> but the VOD will be on YouTube. I will try my best to definitely um, upload the VOD a little bit more quicker since I'm a couple of days behind. But if you do want to watch the VODs back from like this game or the previous streams we've had, they're all up on YouTube more Spring Sims. But tomorrow we will be back to our regular, regular-ish grind of the century. And we will be playing the Career Legacy Challenge in The Sims 4 on Generation 18. But have fun, stay safe, enjoy the rest of your day or night wherever you're in the world. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye!